you know, when I do a big playthrough, let's face it, there's people out there who still do. This is how you don't play videos. Is this the outsider? Yes, this is the outsider. You know you love the city. Outsider content. Yeah! Woo! Right up my ass, baby. I love it. Whoa! Oh, no. Shout out to the outsiders, and I'm okay with them now. I don't care. I don't give a crap about you. This is how you don't play anymore. I don't. I, and originally, it used to be like, oh, this is how you don't play? Fuck those people. They're stealing my content. They're taking it out. You know, I would rage and do videos about it. And what would happen? It would just make it worse. It would just make it worse and worse and worse and worse, right? So there's no reason to waste time on it anymore. That's why you don't ever hear me address the shit anymore. If they want to do edited style content videos, you know, abridging my playthroughs and say I suck at a game, I don't give a fuck. I haven't cared for a long time. Let them do it. It's funny because today, I don't care if someone makes a this is how you don't play montage. I don't care if someone does that kind of stuff. That doesn't that doesn't affect me at all. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't affect me at all. Um, why do I care if you make fun of my gameplay at this point? Fuck you, you know, those days are long gone. My viewers are gonna watch my stuff no matter what, so say what you will about the quality of the gameplay, they don't care. So make your stupid montages about gameplay and shit. It's not gonna, it does, if anything, I've proven still being here after 11 years, those videos are not gonna end me. If anything, a lot of them give me more attention sometimes, so I don't care, let them do it, right? Thank you very much, The Outsider. This the thing is, if you're watching this say you don't play, and all it does is make fun of my gameplay, I'm totally okay with that at this point. I don't care anymore. You know, years and years ago, I used to be an idiot, and I would say, oh no, people making fun of me, and if this is how you don't play is a big deal. It's not really a big deal. Make fun of my gameplay, I don't give a shit. You know? Uh, Commodore92 to me $3 said, any form of edited content you're okay with people making about your stream? I, I, I said it a million times, I don't care what anyone does. Okay, we want to make a montage of Phil failing, a montage of Phil raging, whatever. One thing again to make fun of me for stupid shit that I do on my stream. You want to live restream and joke about it? Fine. Lampoon me all you want. You want to make this is how you don't play videos? Fine. Make fun of my gameplay all you want. I could care less if someone illegally restreams me, if someone makes a, a, neg a negative video about my gameplay. Who cares? Things change over time. Ten years ago, so I'm thinking, man, people are stealing my content, making negative montages about it. Now people will not watch the original content. And ten years later, why do I, would I give a shit about this is how you don't play? today i don't let people make them i don't give a shit let them all do it you know what i'm saying as i've told you guys i've never watched this is how you don't play in its entirety ever ever um this is how you don't play how did it start started because i didn't really care about the quality of my playthroughs i thought the whole thing was a joke so i would make really bad quality you know over the top stupid commentary playthroughs of games not taking them seriously <clears throat> acting like a fool and essentially what happened was overnight <clears throat> when i turned off the comments this is how you don't play die not to say that people don't still try to make them but when people try to do this stuff it's just not popular anymore no, there's no this is how you don't play that's that come out in the modern era that get any kind of traction compared to how they used to i mean we're talking videos they used to get tens or if not hundreds of thousands of views and now they can barely get to ten thousand views half the time no one really cares about that crap anymore all right no. I don't do that, and I should say that. I never do that. People tell me all the time, oh, Phil, someone claimed this, someone struck that down. It's never me. It's literally never me. I've never done it. I don't do that. I People can do whatever they want with my content. I'm not going to stop them because I don't have a lawyer to sue people. I'm not going to bother with that shit. So anyone who ever, ever gets affected by that, I swear to God, God's honest Bible truth, it ain't me. I don't know who's going around all the systems impersonating me and shit and getting away with it. It's never me. Holy shit. That is an epic fucking intro, dude. Welcome to the Outsiders channel. I hope you guys are ready for some outsider fun today. As I make fun of the buffoon named Darkside Phil. Right, I tell you, tell you how terrible he is as a content creator and a gamer and a person. I'm just going to sit here and do a big expose on him right now. Hello, everyone, and welcome. We are continuing on with my Christmas marathon for 2022. And a game that was voted in, if you can believe it, a survival horror game by the name of Resident Evil. Now... There's multiple versions of Resident Evil, and we were opting, like, which version should I play? Should I play the original on PS1, or should I play the remake? Now, I wish I had more options. Sadly, I don't. My PS3 is kind of half dead. Um, it doesn't really connect to the internet anymore. I haven't had a chance to try to fix it. So, <sighs> basically, I was kind of, like, put between a rock and a hard place, and looking around at the versions available, Resident Evil Remake from 2015, seven years ago, Okay. A unique version of the game that I've only played once. And it, what it is, I, for, I didn't even know this at the time when I played it. And I researched it now and I actually learned more about it. So Resident Evil came out 
in the mid 2000s. I want to say it was like 2006, 2007. Actually, well, I'm stupid. Let's try this again. Resident Evil came out in the mid 1990s, around 1996, 97. Then there was a remake on GameCube, and that only came out like six years later. But the remake changed the game around a ton. It added in new elements, completely new graphics, new puzzles. It added in the scarlet-headed zombies, or, or is it crimson-headed zombies? It basically changed a lot, right? And people actually, at that time, loved it. They were like, wow, this, re is a, like, this is what we want in a remake. We can't believe how good this game is. It's the spirit of the original, but remade for a modern audience. So then in 2015, they opted to take that very, how can I say, not that it was rare, but basically the GameCube, you know, those games didn't really get ported to anything else. So then they decided to make it for modern consoles, and they took that GameCube version, and for the first time in over a decade, made it available to a wide audience. And that was the first time I ever played it, over seven years ago. And I remember really liking it. At the same time, I remember it being very challenging. Um, so, you know, I only have experience with this once ever, um, set over seven years ago. So I'm ex actually excited to jump back into Resident Evil 1, but the remake, and see the difference. I, you know, I played the, the first one several times, but this remake I've only played once, so I wonder, you know, definitively what are the differences and how much harder is it than the original? I don't remember from playing this, you know, seven plus years ago, so let's find out. All right, this is spoilers. No spoilers. Okay. Resident Evil. I'm ready for residence. The residency. Don't turn off your PS4, sis. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh, wow, it's really disgusting. I'm sorry about that, everyone. I've been drinking, so apologies. I'm drunk right now. Seriously, I'm drunk. And I'm trying to beat the level that tells you that you're drunk. Well, yes, I'm drunk. No shit. Question, how do you like your games? Now, hold on a second here. Am I... Did you guys give me shit eight years ago? Why do I remember this screen? Because you guys totally gave me shit eight years ago. I was like, oh, let's read these. This is too easy. Good exercise, but not too strenuous. Fulfilling, but takes a lot of work. And I was like, oh, what this means is that this is, uh, uh, this is average, right? Two is average, right? And then you guys were like, oh, you picked easy. I was like, wait, how? this is easy. This is normal. This would be hard, right? And I played it, and you're like, no, you picked, you picked easy. Fine. You guys just want to ruin my Christmas is what it is. You guys really want to ruin my Christmas. Fine, I'll pick hard. We got Chris and Jill, and then we got Chris and Jill. Wait, what? Chris and Jill? Chris and Jill? Wait a minute. Jill and Jill. Jill and Jill and Jill and Jill. Jill and Jill and Jill. Wait a minute. Why can you play as the BSAA Jill? That doesn't make any sense at all. They didn't join BSAA until Resident Evil 5. Why would they Why would that version be in here? That's weird. I mean, obviously I want to play as the, the regular characters. Now, if I remember correctly, Jill's campaign is easier because Number one, Jill can unlock doors Chris can't. And number two, Jill runs into Barry and Barry helps her in certain situations. The Chris campaign is much harder because he never gets that help and he can't lockpick the doors. He has to find all the keys. Right? What do you, what play, okay, what playthrough do you guys want? Here, we'll do a poll. I don't care. We'll let you guys, you guys answer. I think the first playthrough I did was Chris, right? <clears throat> Here. Chris or Jill? You guys, you guys vote. I'll do whatever you guys want. I really don't care. We already played it with Chris eight years ago. Maybe you want Jill. Or maybe you just, you guys are just totally like, you know. what? We must torture Phil at every moment. Make it as hard as possible. He already picked hard difficulty. Now let's make him play with Chris as well. Let's just punish him. Right? All right. 155. We have 570 some people. On the stream, 155 people have voted. 65% for Jill. I'm going to let it go for like 30 more seconds. 
But it looks like you guys want Jill, which I'm fine with. I'm pretty sure my first playthrough was Chris. I'm almost positive. <clears throat> and she was like, wow, and you're an asshole. <laughs> Say that, I almost died, you fucker. Anyway. All right, yeah, it's Jill time. Let's do it. It's Jill time, baby. Yeah. Resident, my first playthrough of Resident Evil 1, I did actually play as Jill. And then my second playthrough, I played as Chris. That's before I was ever a YouTuber. We're talking the 1990s. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. Well, they were delicious. You can't help them, you know, gourmet. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate. It. But we lost. Devour. Devour. Why was their helicopter crashing? It doesn't make sense. Zombies don't Safe crash helicopters. Body of Kevin. But, ooh. But, ooh. So this is yeah. This is the, the pre-rendered intro. This is not the live-action actors of and the original. It turned into. Man, times are bad. And then, hmm, oh really? And then, hmm, oh really? A nightmare. A nightmare? No. That nightmare where I'm naked in front of so many people on a stage trying to give a speech. And they all laugh and point at my crotch. In mid-2016, I accidentally streamed myself masturbating. Good thing you didn't distract me when something jumped out at me and bit me like this. Oh! Joseph! Merry Christmas to you, RPG Gamer. Jay says he loves this game and this game series. Glad to hear it. Yummy! That's a little different from the intro with the live action. I like she just stands there and watches the dogs eat him. Has no reaction whatsoever. Does she fire her weapon? No. <laughs> Joseph! Merry Christmas to you, RPG Gamer. Jay Jizzy loves this game and this game series. Jay Jizzy loves this game and this game series. She falls. She clumsily falls. Wow. What a trained agent. I'm an agent of woo 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 woo. <laughs> Here they come, the dog pack. Who let the dogs out? All right, that was a bad hey, thing. Brad! Where the hell's he going? <laughs> Brad's getting the fuck out of here, dude. He saw those dogs. He ain't gonna fucking deal with that shit. Look at that. Chris, this way. Chris, this way. I'm a badass, and I will help you get to the mansion. Watch as I every shot I do is perfectly time. Oh, 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 oh. Damn it. Oh, could you make an effort to shut the fuck up? Head for that mansion that's inexplicably in the middle of the woods. You know, where most mansions are, usually. Not on a street, or in a city. <laughs> in the middle of the woods, with no access to it, whatsoever, by car. <clears throat> Alright. Enter the survival horror. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. What about Chris? I don't know where Chris is. What? He was with you two seconds ago. Boy, you guys are terrible what agents. What is this place? All right, here we are. So this is modern controls, meaning it's not tank. I can move around freely with the left thumbstick, and you move in the direction you push rather than rotating on a, like a, a stick up your butt. What? What? Ooh, nice lighting. I like the creepy lighting. I think you'd better take a look at this. Uh -oh. What is it? Look, it's ballpark beef franks right here on the what? floor. They spilled all over. Oh, sorry, that's a different playthrough. Jill, let's see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. So originally, I just hope it's not Chris's. Yeah, see, they changed the quote in the original game. He says blood. I hope this is not Chris's blood, but they've changed the quote to sound different now. Oh, really? Ballpark reframes from Veronica, Code Veronica X's, Derek. You would remember better than me. I know it was from one of the Resident Evil playthroughs. I didn't remember which one. Jason, can you tell me the story of this game series? Whoa. See, here's the thing. 
Jade, if I tell you the story, it spoils this game because this is the first one. If we were like five games in, that would be fine. But for people who are maybe watching this for the first time, it wouldn't make sense. I would basically be spoiling the entire Resident Evil series if I tell you what's going on. So I feel like that wouldn't be very appropriate for right now. So let's just let it play out casually, shall we? Okay. What I, what I like funny is, what I find funny, so here's Barry. Oh, I'm just going to look at this blood. You are. What, what are you going to do with it? What are you, exactly are you doing with the blood? Like, he's just like, he's like smearing it around with his hand. Oh, maybe I'll figure something out if I do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, like what? <laughs> What's he going to do with it? He's not collecting it. He doesn't have a blood analyzation kit with him. What is he doing with it? I wish someone would chase the clowns out of here. Oh, gee, I wonder who's going to do that. I don't want to spoil it for people who've never seen this. Like, again, if this was Resident Evil 3 or 4, I would give backstory. It's the first one. I, I don't want to do that. Okay. Uh, when the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. So I think that's a puzzle for later. I think you need a key to open the clock, if I remember correctly. And then there's a... Oh, look at this. Yeah, if I remember... Yeah, I see a picture of two knights. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight. The long sword pierced the head of the other. So I think those are the hands. The small hand goes one way. The long hand of the clock goes the other way. That's a, that's a puzzle. But you can't open the clock yet. Let's see what we got in the next room. I can't imagine what unfathomable horrors could be found in this hallway. Perhaps if we go down this way. The opposite direction of where we're supposed to go. Let me close the clock. Oh, here. Look at are you ready? Here he is. The Grinch in full HD for the first time. You never seen him in this definition. He may look a little different than what you're used to. Alright. Uh <laughs> Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh. He's got the magnum. What the hell is He just this? landed on your crime scene. I found Kenneth. All right, so full disclosure, when I first played the original Resident Evil 1, all right. When that scene happened, when he was eating the body, I unloaded I, a big load of duty, you know, my pants. And I had to go to the bathroom and change. I was very embarrassed. And oh, look, Phil's Phil's making that joke about poop and dick humor. And the thing was, I didn't have any more underwear at the time. They were all dirty. So I had to go downstairs and ask my mom, hey, did you did you wash clothes? And she's like, yeah, why do you ask me? I was like, well, I need a new pair of underwear. And she asked me why. And I said, because I just pooped myself playing a video game. And she looked at me and she said, what? She was like, well, you were stomping on like a little mushroom guy or something. You pooped yourself. Are you okay? And so what happened was she locked me in my room and she called the uh, the authorities. Like they came and they, they, they did a full psychiatric investigation to find out what was going on. And uh, I'm just kidding. I just didn't do it myself. I just made all that up. Anyway. <laughs> Let's continue. <laughs> I was scared though. This is the first game, the original Resident Evil one, is the Jill, first game that legitimately scared me. Let's not and made me know that games could Good scare idea. me. So I think we got an enemy in here. Our first enemy we actually have to kill. Shit. He's right here if I remember correctly. No, he's gone. You take the dagger. Yes, the dagger is a new item for this version. It's called Emergency Evade. If an enemy is attacking you, you can stab them with the dagger and avoid damage and insta-kill that enemy. But you have to have a dagger on you to do it. So I can use it as a weapon. Or I can use the gun, and then I think it's still my defensive item. Or is it not? Now I'm confused. Now I actually don't remember. Huh. Like I said, in the original game, there was a zombie in here. Oh, no. Now, that's just not right. Whoa. 
Well, she got him. Wait, what? How did I... How did I stab him with the knife? If I have the knife. He's got a knife sticking out of his fucking head, but I stabbed him with it. But I still have it in my inventory. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, he's gone. Will you take the dagger? Yes, the dagger is a new item for this version, it's called Emergency Evade. If an enemy is attacking you, you can stab them with the dagger and avoid damage and insta-kill that enemy, but you would have to have a dagger on you to do it. What the heck? I have no answer for that. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> That's weird. What really sucks about this is I have no health, no healing. <clears throat> if I take another hit, I'm dead. I'm almost positive this is the hallway where the fucking devil dogs are. So I probably shouldn't do this. I should go back into the hallway. Oh, fuck. Oh! Oh! Shit! Bad. Very bad. <laughs> Ronnie believes that there's a knife that is used up when you're getting attacked by a zombie when you're out... You can't break as free as fast. <laughs> hey, at least they can't go through doors. Uh, I received a $5 tip. So, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I haven't played this in so long. I have no recollection of where to go or what to do. I feel like... I was supposed to go through that hallway with the dogs, but I have no health. And there's no healing items anywhere. So this is bad. Um, I could try to juke this zombie, I guess. But I don't know if I'm supposed to go this way or not. If I die, the whole game starts over, doesn't it? I got another dagger, so at least that'll get someone off of me. If he grabs me, I don't take any damage, right? We're almost at $400 in tips today already, which is outstanding. Thank you guys so very much. It's like I said at the beginning of the stream, because people were like, oh, you're going to ask for $100 to do a shot of gin? And I was like, you guys don't seem to understand. People are going to be helping out, you know, in droves, but it's going to be, you know, small contributions. That's how, that is how I'm successful. It's not... That I have, you know, someone who comes by the stream and is constantly dropping a bunch of stuff. It's everyone likes the content and they come support it in droves together. It's a group effort, you know. And you're like, oh, you're not going to make anything if you're just trying to ask for a $100 tip for a check. Can you imagine if I had done $20 tips for this? I this, this The freaking marathon would have ended in 20 minutes. It would have been done. I would have been drunk. That's the whole point. <clears throat> Thank you all. Seriously, this has been so awesome so far. We're not even halfway through this marathon yet. Thank you guys so very much. They're all locked. All right. So there's really nothing up here. We got the dagger. But there's nothing else up here right now. I can't go outside because there's an enemy there, right? That's probably not where I'm supposed to go. Wonder what's on the other side of this door. Well, judging by the sound effect, uh, it, there's no Christmas party going on behind there. Unless someone got really drunk. What was that? Yikes. No thank you. Let's go back to see Barry. Whew. That was just, it was just the wind? Oh, it was just a cool breeze passing through, I'm sure. He's, yes. The dog, the dog jump scare, to this day, top five things that scared the shit out of me in the game. I was not, I never played a horror game before. And I'm playing Resident Evil 1. And the zombies are creepy enough. And then 
all of a sudden the dog burst through the window and I'm like, oh fuck me, dude. I like, I had to put the controller down and walk away for a few minutes. I was like, I was not expecting this, you know? Like legitimate scares in a video game had never happened to me before. These spikes crush your ass. I can't do this. No, this is bad. I'm gonna die. This is really bad. <laughs> Derek, you're welcome. He says, thank you for, for playing this today. <clears throat> this is very bad. I'm gonna die. I don't like this. I don't remember the room. Is there a way to escape this without solving a puzzle? I don't remember. I'm trying to remember if you need to solve a puzzle or if you get crushed instantly unless you can solve the puzzle. I don't think I have the solution for it yet. Damn it. So, I'm screwed. If I I know what happens. If I take this key, remember take this emblem find peace in death. Will you take the mansion key? No. You need to find something to replace this. Once you find the replacement, then the shield won't come and kill you. Because I remember now. These walls move in. This guy comes this way. That spike comes that way. You get impaled. Your guts explode. Your brains come out of your nose. And uh, you poop everywhere. So that's not what I want to do. That's bad. What happens if I just touch this? Death is the true essence of bliss. Ooh. So I don't want to do that. I need to find a the thing to replace the key with. We might find a false key somewhere, perhaps? Yeah. Uh, we're in trouble. There's an enemy right there. See him? See that fucker? Nope! <laughs> oh, the loading screen defeats you, you son of a bitch. You thought you could stop me? I don't think so. Is there a way to get past that guy? Here, to quote Ace Ventura when nature calls. You are like sissy girl. <laughs> sissy girl. <laughs> oh boy. I want to get by him. Can I get by him? This way. Yes! Oh, that was beautiful. They call that the artful dodger. Ooh, look at this. You take the golden arrow. What's this? A clip? Yes. Oh, shit! At least I got a knife. Now get the fuck past him. Run past him. Locked from the other side. No! Oh, okay, I unlocked it. The arrowhead looks like it can be removed. Oh! Ooh, what is this? It's made from Peridot. Referred to as a poor man's emerald. Huh. I have no clue. No clue what I use this on. But I will try to get the... Yeah, let's get this zombie out of the way. Alright, so if anything, we now know that I've cleared that whole area. We just went in a loop. We did as much as we could. We got the Peridot. Okay. The Peridot. Oh, how nice. Let's lock from the other side. Got a stupid zombie going, Duh! Duh! Oh no, I don't know where to go here. What's this? Oh fuck. Oh no! Shit! I don't like this at all. There's a zombie going, Duh! Oh, here we go! Oh no, I don't like this. A stone statue with a hole where the eye should be. A stone statue with a hole where the eyes, nose, and mouth should be. No, I don't like this at all. What is this? The flames are burning higher and higher. Uh, what is this? What is this? A book is fitted perfectly in the indentation. Will you take the book of curses? Why is that? I don't know any of this. The Book of Curses? No! If I take this, that coffin's gonna open, and a fucking, fucking 
hunter or ty tyrants coming out of there. This is bad. Once I get all the mass, then I'm in trouble. And now I have the mansion key, so I can take the key out of that trap and put this other key down. There's nothing unusual. It has a sword on it. Ooh. It's the sword key. Interesting. Merry Christmas, Derek. Thank you very much. He says Merry Christmas to you, your family, and everyone in chat as well. Very nice. The sword key. Now, the question is, do I want to fight this zombie at this point? Or do I want to... All right, nigga. It's time. Oh, no. Oh, shit. You fucking fuck face piece of fuck. Fuck you. Fuck you. Shit. Fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm in trouble, man. Probably a really bad idea, but what am I going to do, right? All right. All right. Waste another ink ribbon like an idiot. All right. Thank you, Mon Montana. Montana likes my sweater. It is my kitty's sweater. It's kitty's decorating a Christmas tree. This is my third sweater of the day. So far, I wore my new dolphin sweater as well as, as, well as my dragon fire-breathing sweater and now my kitty sweater. I have another... I'm pretty sure I can replace the keys. I can replace the key. Like, I can take the key here and replace it with the sword key. But I don't know what key this is or if I need it right now. Let's see. I have to poop, man. I seriously do. I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> it's not a good time for this. I'm in the middle of a marathon. I have another half an hour left of this game and I have to poop. What is going on? Oh, no. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I can't take it. I don't have a... It's, I can't take it. It's a different shape. It won't fit. Okay. Can I hold it in? I don't know. I gotta go. All right, how about this? How about this? I'll mute the... I'll mute the mic. I'll go. I'll poop. I'll be right back. Okay, what was that, five minutes? Whew. feel a lot better now. Okay. Now we can take on the denizens of evil. Watch me get eaten as soon as I walk through this door. <laughs> this is what happens. Christmas marathon, drinking all day. Already had horchata, already had a sake drink, already had a, a shot of gin. I just drink gin constantly, and, and now I'm drinking a white Russian. And sometimes you just gotta poop. But I'm good. I'm feeling a lot better now. Of course I wash my hands. What a disgusting question, John Smith. What do you think? I just poop and don't wash my hands? That's really gross, actually. Uh, oh my god, excuse me. Wow, I am being absolutely revoltingly disgusting right now. This is ridiculous. Okay. <clears throat> Save up. I'll probably dump the ink ribbons only because, I, if I remember correctly... Aren't there almost always ink ribbons near typewriters? Maybe I'm wrong on that. 
But I feel like I'm not gonna need to keep them on me, and I need that inventory space. So I'll keep this stuff. So I need to go back up and grab all those items. I missed a ton of items, right? See if I can get past all these zombies. Oh, what the fucking shit! He's not dead? He's not dead. No! Barely Legal just gifted 10 memberships to the chat. Thank you so much, Barely Legal. I love it. Barely Legal. Cut. Also, Atley Anderson. No, I said Atley Anderson, didn't I? I have eight bullets. I mean, the most I can do is maybe kill one enemy, right? I don't have a lighter. I can't, I can't light a zombie on fire. It's not on easy. This is on hard. I have it on the hardest difficulty. <laughs> I think I made a grave error here. Sweet white Russian, numbing all the pain of Jill dying repeatedly. <laughs> oh, brother. No. I don't know what you're talking about, Derek. I'm just being honest. Uh, this is not working out so well. Um. No! One more try, then I'm done with this. And then, uh, you know, if you guys want to see me play this again, continue it. I'm down for it. It'll be on my PS5. Oh, Juki Juki. Juki Juki. Okay. What is this? A dog whistle? What the hell do I do with that? A crumpled memo. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. I had an idea. I figured I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like a vicious canine that lives here. No one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mutt is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace. And you ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. And this is where you come in because the thing is, I reckon that you're the only person that can hear that damn dog without taking a mauling. Which means that only you can put this collar on. And the object Sir Spencer wants hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you can get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item that you always wanted to get a hold of will change the your services. I will always be able to get it for you with this only... <laughs> Gee, thanks. <clears throat> At least I have some ammo now. Right? I guess I could save again. Because what we need to do 
is get past those two zombies up top to get to the map. So we have the second floor map. <clears throat> but then I think we have the tools we need to kind of go elsewhere. I think. I think we'll just save again. And that's it for today. Yoy, yoy, yoy. Am I feeling my buzz yet? Oh, I am getting a buzz. I've had a buzz for a while, actually, to be honest. So let me know what you think. All right, but I had fun playing this today. And the thing is, I don't remember this. Like, I don't remember this playthrough from eight years ago. It's different. It has all new content, and all these puzzles are different. The placement of everything is different. The enemies are harder. So I hope you're enjoying it, and uh, let's see what happens. But so far, so good. I liked it. Good hour and a half, you know. Well, except for the five minutes I pooped. But outside of that, it was a good hour and a half, right? Hope you guys enjoyed it, and thank you so very much. Maybe we'll see this continue in the future. We'll find out. Thanks, everyone. Cool. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Resident Evil 1 Remake, which now is officially a real playthrough here on DSP Gaming. This was a game that people had asked me to play back during my Christmas marathon of 2022. Here it is, January 1st, 2023, and I made the decision because I wanted to play it, people wanted to see it, and now we finished up some games in my rotation. I said, let's go ahead and uh, let's get started with Resident Evil. How exciting. So a few things about this playthrough we, as I should make clear. This is the Jill run. I have never done a Jill run in Resident Evil 1 Remake. I have only played this game once when it came out in 2015. It was a Chris side run. And when I did it in 2015, uh, I played it on the easier difficulty, not knowing it was the easier difficulty. I actually thought that it was the normal difficulty. It wasn't, it was considered easy. So I'm playing now on normal difficulty, which the game calls climbing a mountain. Because when I think about things that I normally do without strenuous you know, challenge, it's definitely climbing a mountain. That's a normal activity for me. What about the jam? What about the jam? What about it? Look. What about the jam? Look at me. <laughs> anyway, um, so we played for about an hour and a half during the Christmas marathon, and I was drinking and I was trying to do as best as I could. I know I didn't do that good. Um, what do we got? We've got a fuel canteen. Fuel canteen. There's still some kerosene left in it. So do we use this to fill? our lighter guess what wrong by blowing into it it generates frequencies only audible to the ears of dogs you can call a dog with this whistle oh isn't it true so there's an area somewhere in the mansion you need to use that whistle to summon a, do a devil dog and you need to kill the dog and there's an item on the dog i think i remember that from the original playthrough but from what i remember that's like a puzzle i don't think i need that yet so let me, let me put that away. Let me put that in the box. I'm pretty sure we don't need that yet. So it's the sword key. Now it'll call it the sword key because I examined it. Sword key. So only sword doors can be opened with this key. Did I open a door with it already? Maybe. I know there's a ton of zombies in the hallway, which is going to be a pain because I don't think this many bullets is enough to kill them. And in this game, is it not true? The only way to permanently kill a zombie is once you kill it, then you have to burn it. Right? Isn't that something? I don't remember. It's, I'm trying to remember. I can't remember, man. Happy New Year to you, Guts. Good to see you here. He's playing Sonic Frontiers. He's nine hours in. He's playing it on the Switch. <laughs> Good luck with that. Oh, uh, I received a $2 tip. <clears throat> Big ups, Phil, the king of retro. Well, thank you to the anonymous $2 tipper who got our tipping started tonight. I appreciate that. So if you do not... I'm being told, if you don't burn zombies in this game, they come back as red zombies and they're tougher. So I have to burn every zombie I kill, huh? Would have been great to know that when I started playing that on Christmas... Or during the Christmas event. I'm fairly certain I downed a bunch of zombies and I did not burn them. So now I'm probably screwed. I'll probably have, like, hallways full of red zombies, right? <clears throat> Execute clown mode. This is gonna be a pain in the ass. Watch. All right, let's see what happens when I step outside. Get ready. There's a zombie right out here. I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it. I'm sure there's a zombie.
Oh, fuck, 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 already! Dude, I didn't even get one step out of the room. The fucking zombie lunged at my ass. Jeez. I didn't even... Cloud mode activated. Oy, 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 oy. Okay. Oh. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. What happened? I opened the map. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. I, I tried to use a trigger. I opened the map. Shit. Oh, this is bad. I don't have a knife, do I? Fuck, shoot him in the dick. Shoot him in his dick. The zombie dick. No, he's vomiting on me. Oh, the zombie vomit is disgusting. All right. Uh, item, item. No, you did How do I burn the zombie? Ah! Stop vomiting on me. How do I burn the zombie? <laughs> Look at this guy. He's a clown. So now, how do I burn them? When they're bleeding, they're dead. How do I... I don't want to read the portraits on the walls. How do I burn them? I have a lighter, but I can't use it. Look. I thought you guys said you need to burn the zombies. If you blow their heads up, they don't come back. How do I do that? I can't do that. Go over to them and select oil. So if I go to this guy right here and I select oil... Okay. What could possibly go wrong? So should I do that on all of them? To make sure they don't come back? Right? Oh, I burnt myself? I burnt myself? Like there's not enough hazards. Deactivate the clown mode. Oh, you rotate with right thumbstick, which I didn't even know. It's a 180 turn. Okay. So you position yourself. Ooh. 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 I love this music. Also, I got a super chat from I Smoke Crack. And it says, DSP Gaming, I'm scared. I need crack. Well, I can't really help you with that. Sorry. Perhaps you should call a plumber and have him bend over. You'll get plenty of crack. All right. Uh, well, I guess we're good for now. I'm not even gonna waste the ink ribbons or nothing. There's this the wooden the wooden mount. Is that what it is? Maybe. I think that's what it is. If I remember from the Chris run. Again, it's seven and a half years ago. I'm trying to vaguely remember these puzzles. It's gonna be challenging. We currently have over 400 viewers and over 100 likes on the stream already. Thank you guys for the outstanding support so far. We just started tonight. I guess you guys like Resident Evil, huh? All right, here we go. A nice celebratory bubble blow. Thank you for the 100 likes. Support children's entertainers. Oh, did I? Yoshino Lover says, I played Resident Evil Zero on hard. It was a great playthrough. I don't remember that. I don't recall that. I'll take your word for it. Oh, you can't go back. Ugh. That sucks. Excuse me. Remember, the one thing we never did, if you go bottom right-hand corner of the first floor map, we did not go down that hallway because it was locked. Maybe now the sword key opens that hallway. That's the, That bottom right-hand corner of the map is the infamous dog jump scare hallway where I pooped my pants playing as a teenager. Like, literally loaded my pants up with duty. As the the, the the dogs jumped through the window. That was the scariest I've ever been in a game. Because that was the first time I ever knew 
that there could be jump scares in a horror game like this. And it scared the shit out of me. It really scared me. And I to, to this day, I remember it. I remember in the 90s playing this on PS1 in my room in my parents' house. And just the dogs jumped through and I went, oh, and wow. Oh, it's an idiot talking about scat, so I'm just going to ignore it. It's a dumbass. Okay. So I'm kind of like, I don't know what I should do next. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm remembering something. Now I'm starting to remember something. If a room is colored red, it means there's still things to do in that room. So if you see a room that's that's like beige or gray, it means you've done all the items and puzzles in the room. If you see a room that's red, it means there's still something left. So in that room, that's the clock room. I remember that. We just don't have the thing to run, wind the clock key yet, right? So there, in the stair, there's a stairwell upstairs where there's a puzzle. That's Isn't that the puzzle? If you take the key, the statues come and crush your ass. So that's why that's red, because that's the puzzle room. We can't do that yet. Okay, see, it's all coming back to me. Seven and a half years, it's all coming back to me. All right. All right, guys. About an hour left on stream. <clears throat> Let's see what we can do with story progress. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Great progress today. Great stream. And uh, looking forward to more here. If you would like to contribute and help out, please, by all means, do. And please tip me if you can. We're trying to hit the tips goal today. So we got to plan out our next move. But before we do that, I should do a shout out. Right here, I received... An incredibly generous $100 tip from Troll Hunter, who says the following, have a good stream, my friend, stay positive, stay humble. The growth of 2022 is only the beginning for what is to come in 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, my first $100 tip of 2023 has happened already on the first night. Even Ralphie can't believe it. Look at this. Even Ralphie's like, what the shit? Someone gave you $100? What's going on in the world? I know. $100. Wow. That is a lot of money. Thank you, Troll Hunter, for this $100 tip. I really appreciate it. He's like, Ralph, he's like, you get $100. I get a Santa boot to my face. What kind of world is this? So we're at $111 in tips, which is amazing. It means, number one, we get gutter glasses going. Okay, which is absolutely excellent. Thank you so much for that. Oh, of course there's a smudge. Of course there is. Of course there is. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. So, Paul. Which, oh my god, I'm so sorry, everyone. That's so disgusting. I'm really sorry. <laughs> For someone to belch. All right. Which hat is classic survival horror best? Would it be the Los Santos cap? Would it be the Bender hat? Would it be the beret? Or would it be... Uh... The the bison hat and bison hat. What the hell is this? Is that green herbs? Hold on, hold on. Please tell me that's green herbs. Oh. A freebie heel. Freebie heel. That's cool. Now. The problem here is... Is this not the balcony where you're supposed to use the dog whistle? I'm almost positive it is. But I don't have the dog whistle on me, nor do I have a way to kill a dog because I have no ammo. So even if I summoned the dog here, I wouldn't have been able to do the puzzle regardless because I wouldn't have been able to kill the dog. Are there any other items up here right now? The bison hat is going to win tonight no matter what. Let's go ahead and get the, the bison hat. Um, and then try to figure this out, man. I don't know. I'm a, this seems like there's so so many so few uh, resources. It seems like there's so few resources in this this run that I'm gonna have to avoid the majority of zombies. But I'm gonna die within like a bite, right? Like one bite, you're dead. 
Kenneth. Does Kenneth become a zombie eventually? I think he does, doesn't he? I think he actually becomes a zombie you have to fight at some point. No, 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 no. Okay, well, maybe, no, and... No! I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna make a fucking beeline for it. He's on the stairs. He's coming up the goddamn... Oh, fuck. Oh, no. This also claims it's locked, which means I need to go down the stairs. I have to go down the stairs. Okay. You fucking fuckface. Fuck you! I go. I had to take the damage. I can't see. The zombie was fucking blocking the camera. Save room? I think this is another save room under the stairs. I was correct. Okay, I remembered the other save room. Is this the room with the serum shit? Yeah, look, there are several kinds of serums. Isn't this when someone gets bit by a snake, you try to heal them with a the serum? I like saying the word serum. Do you guys like saying the word serum? Serum. Slayer says, my first Resident Evil game I played was Resident Evil 3 on PS1. Mine was this. This was my first survival horror game ever that I ever played, the original on PS1. So he will not come back as a Crimson Head now. If you don't kill them at all, they don't come back as Crimson Heads. It's only if you kill them and they get downed and you don't finish them that they become Crimson Heads, correct? I think I remember that. I could be wrong. All right, let's combine the ink ribbons. Um, See, I don't remember where the shotgun puzzle is, so it makes me wonder if I should keep this broken shotgun with me or not. Let me look at the map again. So we're going to go into a whole new hallway. That hallway is going to have one, two, three doors to explore before we go back out to the main balcony. And I don't know if the shotgun puzzle's in one of those or not. I think it might be. So I might want to keep the broken shotgun on me. I think I want to keep it on me. Do I, the Crimson Heads suck in the game? The one thing I don't like about these remakes is Yoshino Lover. Mark says, does Cat like Japanese culture? She like Judgment? She does. She likes some things about Japanese culture, and she hates some things about Japanese culture. So, yeah, some things she likes, some things not so good. Lummy Cat says, do you think the Crimson Heads are tedious? Well... If you're aware of how the mechanic works and you are playing the game preparing for it, then no. But if you're not aware and then all of a sudden you go back to the mansion, the whole fucking thing's full of crimson heads and you thought they were all dead, yes. So if you're well equipped and you know what's going on, it's not that big of a deal. But uh, yeah, for someone on their first time playing the game, it's probably a major pain in the ass, right? Oh, I received a dollar twenty-five tip from Phil's Floppy Waffle Pancake Nipples saying hello. What, you know, you realize it doesn't mean anything. You can't have a floppy waffle, floppy waffle pancake. First of all, it, doesn't, it can't exist. And this, there's no such thing as a waffle nipple. I've heard the term pancake nipple. I've never heard waffle nipple before. Like, what are you saying? Can you stop with this? Can you think of something better than that? That one's a little stupid. Anyway, thank you for the tip. All right. So I think we're good. I think we will not waste anything. I think I'll keep the shotgun and we're going to try to go through these hallways and see what happens. That was loud. No, you're shitting me. You're sh fucking shitting me. How am I going to get past this guy? Oh, shit. Really? How the fuck am I supposed to get past this guy? I have no ammo. I literally have no ammo. I can't get past the guy on the stairs. Right? I can't even leave where I am. I'm stuck here permanently. The only way out is to pass the guy on the stairs. How am I supposed to do that? <laughs> I don't have the shotgun. I have the broken shotgun. You can't use that to get the real shotgun yet. Um, there's no ammo for any weapon anywhere in the mansion right now. Wow, this shit is ridiculous. How on earth am I supposed to kill the, the dog? And how do I get past the zombie on the stairs? 
Zapato says knife his legs. Dark Interior says there's a trick. You can walk past the zombie on the stairs. He doesn't have the ability to grab you. Are you serious? You, he cannot grab you on a staircase? That doesn't sound right, but I'll try it. If I die, it's no big deal. We'll just redo this segment quick. I just saved in the room. Let's see. That kind of worked easily, but now I gotta avoid the other zombie, right? Okay, that wasn't so bad. The only problem is, oh, I don't, I don't, oh. I didn't get the dog whistle. Real Take Sports to the Super Chat says, how can you not, how can you do a Super Bowl event but not know Brady? What do you mean I don't know Brady? How do you think I don't know Tom Brady? How, what are you talking about? Of course I know who Tom Brady is. I just don't care what you're talking about in relation to him, but everyone knows Tom Brady, right? He's the Lost Brady Bunch member. Everyone knows that, right? He was the ninth one, or the tenth one, or the twelfth one, however the many there were. Anyway, thank you for the Super Chat. I'm screwed. Oh, sh fucking balls. I can't believe I forgot the dog whistle. He really can't grab you on the stairs. All he can do is vomit, huh? Well, that's easy to avoid. Okay, good to know. I mean, grab the dog whistle. We gotta go back up the stairs, right? I guess we're trying to kill the dog with two bullets and the knife. I don't know how we're pulling this off, but I'm going to try. I mean, what else am I going to do, right? I just think zombies are eating human flesh. He's, he's vomiting up rotted, half-digested human flesh every time he vomits. And he vomits all over you, rotting human flesh. Okay. Uh, I guess we're going to have to fight this thing, huh? This will be interesting. I don't know how I'm doing it with a knife, but I guess we're going to try to pull it off. So I guess I call it, and then I'm just going to do this. Fuck you. Fuck you. It's probably not going to work, but I guess we'll try it.
switch when you press it. Yes. The coin was hidden inside the collar. You found the armor. It's an imitation of a key. We use this in the puzzle with the squishy spikes. Yes, this is where we use it. We use it in the room with the squishy spikes and that allows us to get the armor key. Okay. I have no ammo. I have no health. I have no hope, but we got the armor key. We're also done with the dog whistle. You never need that ever again, if I remember correctly. So, I guess we should go back to the main hallway, right? We go back to the main hallway. We need to get back up to the armor key room. We can do that. The question is, can I save easily? And the answer is no, not really. Um, I'd have to go all the way back down the stairs to the save room, all the way back up. I could get rid of the whistle if I do that, and I'd also have to avoid getting hit by a zombie, because I have zero health, right? I think we're going to go for it anyway. Oh! They let me get rid of the whistle. Well, that's useful, right? So... Is it worth it to go back to the save room just in case I die attempting the armor key puzzle or getting out of the armor key puzzle... Yeah, I think it's worth it to save just in case. Okay, let's save. Who put a fake key on a fucking dog collar? What fucking kind of asshole does that? Right? Alright, um... We need the ink ribbon. You're asking the wrong person. Alex Arsenal... Ar Ar Alex Arsenal... It says, is it easy to find more ink ribbons in the game? I've only played this once seven and a half years ago, and it was a different difficulty and a different character. I have no idea. <laughs> You're definitely asking the wrong person that question. Okay. I guess we're good with what we've got. We gotta get back up, and we gotta go to that other hallway to try to use the do the armor puzzle. <clears throat> so, got a dollar twenty-five tip. From Spawn Killer saying, next week I'm going back to where I grew up and I'm visiting my friends I haven't seen since 2005. I mean, that would be interesting. 17 years, a long effing time. You know, I wonder what they're like, right? Do they change a lot? I wonder. Me, I, you know, people I haven't seen in, 15, in 17 years, 15 years. I would never see them ever again. It would be like, like some random occurrence, probably. Uh, Real Take Sports. Then another Super Chase. What team did Brady win a Super Bowl win? Uh... What what was the town that the Brady Bunch lived in? The the Limburg uh the Limburg Losers. Bradyville? It must be pretty hard to fight the Brady Bunch in football. You try to play them and they start saying, I think I'll go for a walk outside now. The summer sun's calling my way. And they break into like a, a, a you know, like a synchronized dance. You get so incredibly distracted that you can't pay any attention to the game. And you just instantly lose as that little, that little Brady brat, what's her name, Cindy Lou Brady or whatever the hell her name is. She just grabs the football and runs right across the line and scores. Fuck this. Fuck them. And that Alice, you know, their their uh their maid, she plays dirty. She always hits below the belt when you're not paying attention. <clears throat> he always turns and misses. That's pretty fucking funny. A turn and a miss. 
So the puzzle's through this door. Yes, we're, we're on the right track. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, what? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that's not good. That's very bad. I went to burn him, and they wouldn't let me. Oh, no! That's very bad. I don't know what's going to happen when I try to go out that door again. Oh, man. I have no health. This is terrible. Oh, no! No, not the crimson! Oh, the crimson zombie! If I don't burn the crimson zombie, does it not get up? If I just leave it alone, does it just stay on the ground? Because if that's the case, then that's much more advantageous choice there, right? Go this way. Oh no! He gets up anyway! It doesn't even matter if you try to burn him. I am super fucked. So there's no way for me to... I have to do this puzzle and leave the other door and circle around the whole mansion... So I don't have to walk by the Crimson Zombie. There's no way I can kill him. Holy fucking shit. He gets up even if you don't try to burn him. That is one son of a bitch. The entire story would take hours for me to tell you, so time is short, except these is a fact. Last month there was an accident in the lab and the virus we were studying leaked. All of my colleagues who were infected are dead or dying, and the nature of the disease is such those still living have lost all of their senses. The virus robs victims of their humanity, forcing them in their sickness to seek out and destroy life. Even as I write these words, I can hear them pressing against my, my door like mindless hungry animals. <sighs> Alma, I've tried to survive only to see you again. My efforts only de delayed the inevitable. I'm infected. There is no cure for what will follow except to end my life before I lose them or I lose the only thing that separates me from them for my love for you. An hour... In an hour, I'll enter my internal sleep where there is peace. Please understand and know that I am sorry, Martin Crackhorn. Well, Martin Crackhorn and I don't care. Let me tell you. Martin Crackhorn and I don't care. Martin Crackhorn and I don't care. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. Why not just put a first aid spray? That's kind of stupid, no? Why'd they put a first aid spray there? That was really dumb, honestly. They didn't have to do it like that. Guys, we've got about a half an hour left on tonight's stream. So I want to say thank you for being a great audience. It really has been a fun premiere stream here at Resident Evil 1 Remake. I hope you guys are having a good time with it. I certainly am. Uh, if you were thinking of possibly making any kind of contribution tonight... Uh, I would urge you to do so as soon as possible, only because uh, only half an hour left. We are very close to hitting the vest for the night. Uh, if you're thinking of tipping to make that vest happen at 150, I would say do it now. That way we can quickly grab a vest and wear it for the end of the stream as opposed to try to rush, okay? So here we are, and I unlocked the other doors, and we should check them out, right? Remember, your contributions are, are mandatory and always will be mandatory. First. All right, so another dollar tip. Play Tower of Fantasy says he'll admit $20. Say, I'll drop you $20 if you admit you're using a guide. Well, I'm using a guide. So give me the $20. I'm not, but I'll say I'm using a guide. I don't care. I'm not using a guide. <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm walking around just discovering things. I don't know. Why would you think I would use this thing about this? Why would I use a guide for a game that came out in the 1990s? And then this version came out on the GameCube in the 2000s. And then I already played this version in 2015, only the other side. Why would I use a guide? Like, what are you even talking about? But, but by the way, send me $20 because I'm using a guide. Okay, thanks. Anyway, uh, Chris tipped me a dollar. So, will I play the Chris campaign after this? No, we already did the Chris campaign in 2015. So, I will not be doing the other side campaign uh, at this time. <clears throat> Thank you.
A death mask. A death mask without eyes, nose, or mouth. What the fuck do I do with this? What are these items? I don't remember any of these puzzles from the first game, from this game for seven years and a half years ago. Don't, none of these puzzles were in the original Resident Evil. These are all new puzzles they added for the remake. I don't remember these puzzles at all. The death mask? And it looks like he has two pimples on his fucking forehead there, too. It's disgusting. Get him some fucking uh, clear cell or something. Right? Yeesh. Hmm, dermatologist for this guy. Well, I got a mask. I got it done. Ghost of Jay just did a $10 super chat. It's his first time super chatting with you. You're going to do Chris Campaign 2. No, I, I actually... I just answered that, uh, Ghost of Jay. I did the Chris Campaign. When this came out seven and a half years ago on PS4, I did the good Chris Campaign. And then at that time, everyone was bugging me what I played Jill. And I said, nah, we'll just do Chris for now. And then for some reason, we just never got back to it. Um, and now, incidentally, seven and a half years later... Here we are doing the Jill campaign, but on the harder difficulty, which is good, I feel, because I played it on the easier difficulty at first. Um, <clears throat> so maybe this is the right way to go about it. So that's cool, right? And, uh, okay, so we have to go down that way to that hallway, but I think I should go into empty my inventory first before we do that, because my inventory is almost full yet again, right? This way. Okay. Um, so, no, we're not going to be doing the Chris campaign at this point. If you want to see the Chris campaign, it's been live on DSP Gaming literally for seven and a half years. Um, it is the easier run, but it's the same run. You know, it's just less enemies or whatever, or less health taken or whatever. Uh, you can check it out here, but uh, no, this is my fresh run of a thing I've never done before. Yup, that was your friend. That was Forrest. He came up and came after your ass. He got up. Damn. Well, we had to do what we had to do. We got more grenades down in the save room, so that's all good. Exactly, I had to shoot. He was coming right for me. I mean, I know he's already dead and everything, but he is still my friend. Kind of sucks you have to defile the body that's already turned into a zombie. Now, when she pissed on it afterward, that was a little excessive, I'll agree. She didn't have to do that, but I guess she was a little upset that he came after her. Because I'm a real mature adult. <laughs> Richard! What happened? You're wounded. Not the serum. This whole place is a killing zone. There are monsters. What did this to you? A snake. A big snake. A giant fucking snake. And it had to be poisonous. So now I gotta run to get poisonous. the serum, even though Richard, I don't. I, I don't have time. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're it's on the other side it. of the mansion. Thanks. I know where it is. We can try to hurry and get it. Hang in there. The serum. Jill, here's my radio. Take Got it. Got the radio. I'm... <laughs> Ever not hurt? What? <laughs> Delaying the inevitable. Save Richard. We saved him. Good shit. And now there's two herbs here that I can grab. Which likely I will. Thank you for watching. Thanks for this overwhelming support. First day of New Year. The New Year 2023. Really happy to be playing this game, you know, almost eight years later. And doing it the harder run. And not having an interactive audience makes it a lot more fun. I had a great time tonight. Thank you all for watching, and this will continue in a couple of days. So for those watching both on stream and on demand, come back in a couple of days and see some more. All right, guys, thank you. Until next time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Resident Evil 1 Remake. Um, so we got a, a shout-out to do here. Uh, we've got, <clears throat> excuse me, MKASP316. Did our first contribution to the night super chat. He says, make sure you got your ball, pock, beef franks, all beef franks ready. There you go. That is a reference to my Code Veronica playthrough from many, many years ago. I remember it was the middle of the summer. I was sitting right here playing um, uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica on my PS4 digitally. And somehow, I guess I had been clicking around on the web on my laptop. 
and a pop-up ad opened up out of nowhere and it was a ballpark B Franks pop-up ad and it was loud and everyone could hear it me you know blaring out of my laptop and it scared everyone because we were playing a, a zombie game he said ballpark B Franks what the frick you scared me you could poop your pants okay so first of all I am at red health probably means that the hardship is sitting is sitting here reading the guide. That's the hard part. Beating the final boss is way easier than cheesing the rest of the game. Oh, oh, god! Shotgun, and that's why I want to put the fake shotgun here. Because if you don't, that other room is where you get squished. So now we can use the real shotgun and stop wasting grenade ammo. That is excellent. There's a trick to easily kill a dog. You shoot it once with a handgun while it's down. You swap to the knife and you stun lock it to death. Sadly, I don't have any any handgun ammo. I, I played two hours last time. I did not find a single piece of, of handgun ammo. So whatever difficulty this is, this is like the don't use a handgun run or something. It's ridiculous that there's no handgun ammo anywhere in it. But there's none. So And now, sadly, I only have one inventory spot. So I'm kind of boned is what I was nervous about. Is that I was going to end up out of inventory spots. And, I already have a dagger. Now I have two daggers. Well, that's good. Two survival knives. Okay. All right, we should be good. We got the shotgun, right? We're good. Okay. Didn't I start with a handgun? I have no ammo. I told you. you know, when we started the game, you had like six to ten bullets, and we found one clip in the whole game so far. So, I, oh, I totally had, like, a dozen bullets. That's not even enough to kill, like, two zombies in this game. So. Oh, no. This is the... Oh, no! This is the dog room coming up. I can't see. I can't... What the hell? What the fuck is this? Why the hell did the camera just do that? <laughs> I couldn't see where I was going. The camera screwed me. I ended up walking in a circle the whole time. I couldn't just go around the corner. The camera kept going. <laughs> well, that sucks. Cause I was gonna be a hundred zombies out there when I go out there. Anyway, I received a two dollar tip. It has nothing to do with the combat. The fucking camera sucks. The camera fucking sucks. Still green, but now we're gonna have the dog room. I'm one million percent sure this is the dog room. I was, I was so traumatized as a child playing this game that I know there's dogs that are going to burst through the windows in this room. Are you guys ready? Three, two, one, go! Okay, I can get rid of the sword key now. Sweet. I fucking told you. Oh, we go back to the second floor and literally just go through all the hallways again to get back to the save room and, you know, uh, burp really loudly, disgustingly. We. Oh! Oh, man, that's disgusting, dude. That's seriously nasty. Combine that with the other sheet music, we go downstairs and play Moonlight Sonata and drink the entire top shelf of the high-end liquor. Sounds good to me. Probably got some Bombay Sapphire in there, some fucking Carvassier. They probably got that, uh, what's that? Royal, Crown, Crown Royal shit? That stuff's expensive, man. This is a bar, so obviously I have a nice gin and tonic waiting for me. You were promised what? Gin? I don't, I don't even have gin. I don't even have gin at all. I. Well, now we know we need to go get that other emblem, come back here and flip the two. And where did we get that original emblem from? The dining room. So that's where we're going to use it, which is right around the corner. The bummer is we got to go back to a save room now to go grab the emblem out of storage because we didn't know we needed the emblem for this room. That's okay, though. We have a way to get there fast. It's not a huge deal. 
it's just time wasting this game much like a lot of early survival horror games has an insane amount of backtracking and inventory management and there's not much you can do about it you could stand around and whine and complain you could stomp your feet you could say this is a waste of time this is bullshit this game is tedious nonsense this game isn't scary it's boring because it must waste my time i'd rather fucking stick a cactus up my dick hole than fucking play this game again you could do that you could do that however i came from an era when basically every game of this type was like this like there was a lot of games with insane amounts of backtracking and stuff so i'm totally used to it and for me this isn't that big of a deal we'll go over here we'll go back to the save room we'll grab the emblems we'll swap the emblems we'll be back you know we'll be fine within the nick of time it's not gonna be a big deal right sing the backtracking song from code veronica i don't know the backtracking song from code veronica if there is one i probably made it up on the fly and you guys probably remember because you watched the playthrough over and over i never i've literally never rewatched my code veronica playthrough once i don't really remember it so I, I couldn't sing a backtracking song. Sorry. Alright. It's time to backtrack. Yes, let us backtrack. You want to backtrack, baby. You know it's time to backtrack. Here we go now. <clears throat> backtrack. We're going to backtrack. It's time to backtrack. Oh. Backtrack, baby. Backtrack. And we go back now when you backtrack. La 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 la. You know you love it. You love to backtrack. Backtrack, baby. And so we backtrack. It's time to backtrack. I said backtrack, baby. You know that you want to backtrack. Make inventory space to get the gem now. Back, you will backtrack, yeah. Alright. Snake, there's a snake in here. Shh, be very, be quiet. If we're quiet, if we're quiet, we may not alert the snake. Shh. If we remain incredibly quiet, we may be able to sneak through this room and not alert the giant snake, okay? God damn it, we alerted the giant snake. Son of a bitch! Come on, man! I was trying to be quiet, you fucker! Barry? No! Richard! Hey, Richard, you fight it! Ah!
If I had known what was going on, I would have been able to do that easily, but, you know, this sucks. Because now he's dead, which I didn't want him to die. I kind of want to reload now. I really didn't want him to die. I didn't know that was going to happen. How did his whole body disappear? Did the fucking snake eat him alive? Eat him whole? Sucked him up like a fucking boa constrictor or some shit? Seriously? Like, like just eat him, eat him alive. He's, he's fucking digesting him right now. Holy shit. Because there's no body in there. <laughs> Damn. That's pretty fucked up, actually. Yeah. Anyway, I received a $5 tip. From Alex, what's your favorite metal or rock band? I don't have one. I didn't actively... He did it! Richard did it! Richard is a badass. He killed it. Richard didn't do it. Richard! Fucking shit. Not waiting to exhale. Survive your first encounter with Yawn. Your first encounter with Yawn? Now I gotta go get the elixir or the serum to treat myself. Because if I don't, I die of poison. So now we got the death mask, but now I gotta backtrack all the way across. Back to the top floor of the other side to get the serum for myself. Or else I'm gonna die of this poison. I remember how it works. Well, we got a new shotgun. Yep, the poison. Oh, am I poisoned? I need serum. <clears throat> All right. Guys, if you're enjoying tonight's stream, there are many ways you can support it. Liking the stream, a super chat, a super sticker, a tip, a membership, a gifted membership. All would be appreciated. It would be great if we can hit some of the tips goals tonight. Uh, we have not even gotten halfway to our first tips goal. So it sure would be great if you could support the stream in that way. If you can, just, just saying. You know, it's basically the way that we've got the least support tonight and it would help a lot. Thank you. And the bottom line is I need a lot of fucking money. Oi, oi, oi. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Everyone's kind of quiet in the chat right now. Butter says that we end up with a dumb zombie who I juke. Everyone's very, very quiet, very silent. This is bullshit. Where the fuck is the save room? Dude, I can't do this. I need to find the save room. So I don't even know what to do. This is insane. How am I going to save my fucking game and stop streaming? Where is the fucking save room? What is this shit? I'm getting very upset. I don't even have a fucking healing item. This is bullshit. Thank you for the dollar tip, whoever this is. Dante, will you play Devil May Cry 2 sometime this year? Unlikely. No one ever asked for it, so probably not. What's that noise? Why did it start playing that music? Who's that? Oh! Oh! What the fuck? This was not in the original game. What do I do? 
I never got to save. fuck do I do? I have no idea. And I didn't get to save. If I go back in there, is she back in there? If I go back in there, is she gone? Because I need to save my goddamn game. You just couldn't save your game here? I mean, that's fucked. Why didn't they put any ink ribbons in the, in the fucking house? Imagine that. Imagine you did all that shit in the mansion. You came out here and you can't save your game. Right? That would be super... You'd be super fucked and super pissed, too, right? How angry would you be if you got all the way out here and you couldn't save your game? <laughs> like, what the fuck? You were going nuts. Ooh! Right? <clears throat> um, so, what a night. At least we got to save. The bummer is we don't have any more ink ribbons, right? That's, uh, that's a rough one. Now we're back into Resident Evil 3 territory again. So let's hope that the next time that we play, we can find some ink ribbons in these new areas. Because if not, I'm pretty boned if I can't save my game. All right, um, but the good news is we had good progress tonight. We had good, uh, good attendance and good engagement. So thank you to everyone who attended the Resident Evil 1 remake stream tonight. Um, I did have a good time. It was creepy. When the crimson heads start fucking popping out, dude, it's like... That's when you get fucking antsy and you're pantsy in this game. Like, jeez, man, because those things hurt. So thank you so very much. Great stream. Until next time, and uh, see you then. All right, everyone, good evening, and welcome back to Resident Evil 1 Remake. This is my third formal session of playing it, although technically I started this during my Christmas Marathon 2022, but this is now our third night actually doing, like, a stream of it. Um, we're about five hours in, and at this point, just to get you guys caught up, we are outside of the mansion. We are behind the mansion in a shed that was basically sitting behind, uh, you know, a forest and a graveyard and all kinds of stuff. We had a crazy freak chasing us. And then we found a journal and we read it. It basically said that someone had grafted the body parts of, of some girl's parents onto her face and body. I'm not kidding. That's literally what it just said. She was like, oh, now they're putting mommy on me and stuff. I was like, what the f... Jeez, that's the, this is not in the original. This part is not in the original Resident Evil. This was added content for the remake. Uh, it's pretty disturbing. Um, and basically, she chases around for a while. You can't kill her. You just have to kind of like avoid her. So I did, and then she left, and now we were able to save, although I used my final ink ribbon. So I literally cannot save the game at this point. I need to basically, uh, you know, survive long enough to, to do something. Now, when first of all, I got a $5 tip. Thank you guys for the support already. $5 tip is coming from Alex. Looking forward to more Resident Evil fun. I wanted to say you seem like you would be a cool guy to hang out with. Absolutely not. What you don't understand is how flatulent I am in real life. All you would just constantly be bombarded with is disgusting butt gas. And even though I sound like someone fun to talk to, good luck getting two sentences out when, you know, that stinky waft is popping up into your nostrils, singeing all your nose hairs. So, you know, a good person to stream with, very bad person to hang out with in real life. Trust me. So anyway, thank you, Alex. <laughs> thank you, Alex, for the tip. Stay the hell away from me in real life. No. I want nothing to do with any of you, only on stream. How about that? Hold on to your dookie because it's about to get spooky. I thought it was held on to your butts because it's about to get nuts. Hold on to your ass because it's about to be crass. Uh, I don't know. Will you push the button? Push the button. My finger is on the button. Whoop! There we go. I have to find a power source. What I see is a battery that's not in it. See that? There's a missing battery. So we have to find the missing battery, put it in there, and then this elevator will work. Real takes work to the Super Jays. says, A Silent Hill is Tom Brady appearing in the Super Bowl. So now I'm remembering this puzzle. Here's the puzzle. So what you need to do is you need to go... Uh, you need to basically be able to get back here 
when the water is in the pool. So what you need to do is find the battery, come back here, go back to the pool, crank it, and something else opens up here. And then that's that's the trick. Like right now you can't do the puzzle because there's going to be a waterfall. But once you have the battery, you can go back up this elevator. And then you can turn the crank again. And once you turn the crank a second time, then you're able to come back here via the, this elevator and do the puzzle. But for now we're stuck. I'm remembering these puzzles now for some reason. I don't know why I'm remembering them so well, but I am. Maybe they stood out because it was the first time I'd ever done them eight years ago. You liar, you. I'm good at lying. <laughs> Look at this. Gee, there's definitely a reason why they're giving us three different blue herbs. Right? <laughs> I don't want to be toxic. Slayer says, remember someone said they would tip $20 if I said I was using a guide? That's right. And then I did say I was using a guide and they didn't give me nothing. Just like I knew it. Because <laughs> I knew they weren't going to do it. Frog's playing golf. She said, did you look up a guide? No, I did not. How long would I last if I were in Jill's place? Maybe about 30 seconds and I would defecate on myself. Oh, look, Phil's, Phil's making that joke about poop and dick humor. From Haseo. What's going on, Haseo X5? He says, looking forward to your Game Awards series. Sadly, I'll be at work when you do it. But interesting to see what game will make what list as best, worst, and funniest of 2022. Sadly, there's no funniest moments. There hasn't been funniest moments in many, many years. It's funny because people still say this. They're like, oh, what about the funniest moments countdown? The funniest moments countdown that I haven't done since, like, 2016. Like, it's really, uh, hasn't happened in, like, six plus years. Why doesn't the funniest moments countdown happen? Because they used to be fan-voted funniest moments. Um, and basically, at one point, my fans stopped using my forums actively for some reason. There used to be people who go on my, on, on the, the old website. You know, now it's a new website. Now it's dspgaming.com, but it used to be something different. They would go there. They would create a forum account. They would post up and nominate their funniest moments from all year. Like, literally all year. Fans would post up, hey, here's a video that I think is funny. Here's a video that I think is funny. Um, and then by the end of the year, there would be like 50, 60, 70 nominations in there to go through. And basically, I would narrow it down to the ones that I either felt was the most funny or the most commonly nominated. And there would be a poll system that you guys would call. And then during that poll, you guys would pick what you thought was the funniest. So I would always do the top 10 funniest moments, but then I would usually pick 10 uh, honorable mentions. So I used to do that, plus I would do the most disappointing Games of the Year countdown. And then I would do the Game of the Year awards. But what ended up happening was just over the years, for some reason... People just stopped using the website. They didn't. They kept telling me, oh, they didn't want to register for it anymore. They didn't feel like it got enough views. And so it basically fell into disrepair. Now I don't really use the website anymore. It still exists. It's a good backup if anything were to ever happen to me here on YouTube or somewhere else and you needed a way to reach me, the forums are the backup, basically. But there's really no other reason that I use it. I don't. Use, the only thing is Ask the King. I take questions for Ask the King on the website. That's literally it. So, we haven't done Funniest Moments in a million years, so the countdowns will just be Most Disappointing Games and Game of the Year Awards, like it's been for, like, right? <clears throat> Fanboy Kratos, enjoy your ban for being a fucking piece of shit. Real takes Banned, 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 banned. Gone. Forever. What do I think about the Nemesis system in Resident Evil 3? Um, I don't like Resident Evil 3, the original. I just don't like the game at all. I think the game is poorly designed. It, it feels like a knockoff of 1 and 2, where they try to do some new elements and the elements don't work. There's too many cheap instant deaths. There's not enough ink ribbons. Like, just everything about the game feels rushed and a mess. Come to find out, it is. The game actually wasn't supposed to be Resident Evil 3. It was supposed to be just a random spin-off that wasn't going to be as good. And then, when they were trying to make Resident Evil 0, or was it Code Veronica X? It was one of them. It got delayed so badly, they realized, oh shit, we actually do need to have a Resident Evil game here. So they made that three when it wasn't supposed to be. So, I just don't like anything about Resident Evil 3, quite frankly. This is definitely my least liked game in the entire franchise. So, All right, well, I guess we're going to go back to the shark. Am I really excited for Resident Evil 4 Remake? Well, you know, Resident Evil 4 is a great game. Played it last year, exactly a year ago, actually, is when I played it. Loved the playthrough that I did of it. And... You know, I'm definitely looking forward to the remake because if it is anything like the remakes of 1 and 2, it's going to be exceptionally good, right? Um, this remake, so good compared to the original game, adding so much new content. The Resident Evil 2 remake, oh my god, that was like from, from the ground up reimagining with modern graphics, modern controls, still insanely challenging, like super good. So, 
as long as it stays in the same vein as all of that, yeah, I'm pumped. You know, even though I just played it, if it's a whole, it's gonna feel like a whole new game, I bet. Gallery. We don't have a way in there yet. Gallery. Right? Looks like eventually we're gonna get in from the other side. That's what it looks like from a stairwell, so. Okay. The fans, Slayer says, from what I heard, the fans didn't like the remake of Resident Evil 3 versus the original. Yeah, and the, the remake of Resident Evil 3, if you can believe it, Resident Evil 3 is by far the shortest of all the original Resident Evil games. The remake was shorter. They actually cut content from the remake of the shortest Resident Evil game. Why? It doesn't make sense. There's entire sections missing. And I remember when I was playing, I was like, hey, remember when I played the original? I, I died a million times because there's a bunch of explosive barrels in the park. And you're being chased by zombies. That part's not in it. And basically, Nemesis is just a joke. There's no fight against him or anything. He's just like a quick time event. So, it's pretty lame, honestly. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're heading in to fight the shark. We're going to see what happens. If this doesn't go my way, we will run the fuck out of there. We'll not run the fuck. We'll probably just reload and uh, <clears throat> and then go fight the, the spiders instead. Let's see what happens. Okay, everyone. Everyone, it's time to man up. It's time to get ready. We got to fight a fucking shark. I'm going to try to unload it into this combat shotgun, and then we're going to switch to the handgun, try to fill it up. I got two healing items. You think this should be enough to kill the shark? I hope so. Let's find out. Oh, there's fucking two of them. There's two sharks! Killed one. There's three sharks. I killed two. There's a third shark down there. Where is it? It's in the center. Can I shoot it from here? Is it co- Oh no! It's Jaws! It's fucking Jaws! Oh shit, I almost pooped. It's time to run, dude. Oh my. Oh my! Ho ho, Nelly! That was a big old shark. We killed the two little boys. Oh, my booty was thoroughly clenched. Absolutely. There was absolutely no air pressure moving. Nothing coming in my butt. Damn, dude. All right, there's items in here. Morning landing kitchen is an emergency. Yeah, I'll fucking say. Did you see the fucking sharks? Real take sports to the super chat saying, boy, the Ken wig and the paint a number 12 on your shirt for a tier three? No. No real take sports. Stop that. Oh, fuck. It's right there. The controls for the main system. Everything seems to be in proper order. Error message displayed something appears to have gone wrong while the water was being drained. There's a switch to drain the water. Press it. Yes. Emergency. Emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. What does that mean? Cannot resume drainage. Well, this is not good. I don't know what I'm doing. Please would drop an oil control. Open valve number three. We have to open valve number three. Where the fuck are the valves? Of pressure threshold. This is not the time. Where's the valves? How the fuck do I know where the valves are? Are they upstairs? In the other area I didn't go to yet? Are they in this room? There's no valves here. I don't understand. None of these work. 
How do I do the safe? What's the safety? Reaching 50% of pressure threshold. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. I need number three. Is this number three? What? What does that even mean? I don't know what to do. This is bullshit. How do you restore Reach oil pressure and release the safety? Pressure Fuck pressure. this game. This is terrible. And it's time that you don't know what you're doing. Oh, I'm gonna do the whole thing over. Oh! The whole thing over from the start. Fuck this game. Reaching 90% of pressure threshold. I can't even do anything. We're done. We're dead. <laughs> this is done. I gotta do the whole thing again. We're done. I gotta do the whole thing over. Because the game is not self-explanatory and has no idea what to do. And just all these buttons, nothing does all anything. What a piece of shit. Look. How do I restore oil pressure, you dumb fucking game? You're so dumb. How do I do it? How do I do it? It doesn't explain how you restore oil pressure. Reaching what is this? Pressure threshold. That puzzle is not in the original. It's new for this, and it's stupid as fuck. Now I gotta do the whole thing over. Maybe I can avoid the sharks entirely? Do you think I can avoid them and not have to fight them? I could try that. Right? So it's like, how do I fucking know what I'm doing? You do, you literally don't. You just fucking fuck around. <laughs> it's insanely stupid. The, the sharks were in the original, but not that puzzle. That puzzle was not in the original game. This is what old school gaming is about, brother. I think you don't have to kill the sharks. I think you can just run by them, get to the control room, and then if you do this, the, the puzzle, I think you're good. No, I don't know how to do the puzzle. I have no clue. What did I do wrong? I don't know. I have no idea what else I was supposed to do. Because it said that it was fucked up and I had to do something with oil pressure. So I did and I went back and everything looked the same like I hadn't ever done anything. So I don't think I did the puzzle at all actually. <laughs> I don't I don't even know. So I mean it's a, it's a very, it's a crappy puzzle. It's not designed very well. The puzzle's from 2003 when this came out or whatever. And the wording isn't right so you don't really understand it. Release the safety, yes, okay. Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Okay, oil loss. Got to do the oil pressure. Let's go do that. No! Three. It always said to press three. It says always press three. Reaching 50% of pressure threshold. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. Okay. Can we do it? This is so predictable. I guess we did it. Drain the water. We did it. 
It wasn't as hard as it seemed. It's just confusing wording, that's all. No shit, stupid. Oh! Looks like we gotta come back here later. We must have to find a way to kill the plant. And if we kill the plant, its roots will be dead. And then we can come back down here. And then we can see what was in this room. There is absolutely no way that we can get past those tentacles right now. As you can see, there's something in the corner, but there's no way we'll access it. So, and now we know at least, right? Mishael did a super chat. Says, thanks for the chat for the help. Huh? What do you mean? For the puzzle? I was just fucking around. I, I did not read any chat help for the puzzle. <laughs> I really didn't. I did not understand. I was just fucking around until I figured it out. But it really frustrated me that the camera angles were so bad. Uh, Sadly, that's why I died the first time. Because I didn't know where I was going. I was running in circles like an idiot. I know you're lying. I think I saved it. I think I salvaged it. Gamer guys, am I looking forward to Hogwarts Legacy? Oh, uh, maybe. I, I, I hope it's good. I've never played a Harry Potter game before. I'm hoping Hogwarts Legacy is, is good. And if it is, great. Then I'll have a, a Harry Potter game under my repertoire. You know, I've been playing for 15 years. There hasn't been one. That'd be pretty sweet. Okay, now, do this. Now let's test and see if it works. Ready? It works! Now we can skip the tentacles entirely and we'll never get grabbed again. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Yes. Sucks I had to get grabbed one more time to do it, but we got it. Okay. Let's go to the gallery. <clears throat> Hello, Mateo. Good evening. Did I watch all the Harry Potter movies? Yes, I've seen them all. At least once. Hoseo, I know nothing about the Hogwarts deluxes or nothing. I'm Again, you guys are way ahead of me. I keep telling you. But here's my mindset. <clears throat> Finish the current games I'm playing. We just finished God of War. Tomorrow is likely the end of Pokemon. Year-end series on Sunday. Okay? Then, look at the game release schedule Monday or Tuesday, you know, for the, for the Level 1 podcast. Then start figuring everything else out. You guys keep asking me questions about games this year. I don't know anything. You're, you're so far ahead of me and wasting time asking me these questions because I don't know anything about this shit. Oh, there's bees! How do I use this? Use, examine, combine. You can't equip it and you can't use it. Yeah, so I can't, I can't stop the bugs. That's a good tip. Thank you. Someone just gave me a huge tip on how to do this. And I appreciate that because I probably wouldn't have figured it out. There's a hole in the wall at the end of the hallway. Thank you, gamer guy. I would have never figured that shit out if you didn't just tell me that. I would have been going in circles for the rest of tonight. It's this right here. Look. Gamer guy, that was incredibly useful. Thank you so much. Like I said, I probably never would have figured that out. And I would have been running in circles all night. Saying, how do I get past these bugs? 
Uh, an anonymous gifter who gifted himself to handheld fat guy. Well, I don't know who the hell you're talking about because I'm certainly not getting my handheld. I'm not fat. So, fuck up. <laughs> anyway, thank you for the $5 tip that gets us to 63 tonight. Again, heading towards 100, but we are running out of time. We only have about 20 minutes left on the stream. And I'm desperate at this point because I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills, the electric bill, the internet bill. Okay, so now what? Strange silhouette hovers in the reddish light. So it's red, and it's it's a red eye, and it looks like a cat's eye, right? It's open, and it looks like a cat's eye. Could have some kind of meaning. Yes. Absolutely, it's going to have a meaning. Okay, so red, open cat's style eye. Okay, orange... Eye with no pupil. See that? So red was open cat eye. Orange is eye with no pupil. Green is human regular eye. Okay. So red cat eye, orange pupilless, green regular human eye. Wait, what? Count the lines on the eye pictures. They signify a number, then the color for the ball. This is stupid. This this was not in the original game. I can tell you right now, the human eye only had two. And it was green. And it was a human eye. I know that. None. Right? Zero. Or is that two? This is, this is the dumbest fucking shit ever. I'm just going to take a picture of it all then. Seriously. It's so dumb. It shouldn't be like this at all. This is so fucking waste of my time. It's a bad puzzle. The original Resident Evil 1 didn't have this puzzle. This is a shit puzzle. Are you a fucking retard? This is why this game is so long, because the puzzles suck. Yep, look. Now what the fuck is that supposed to be? I don't know. You tell me. Are those eyelashes? Does it count as two? What does that count as? Who the fuck would know? I certainly don't. Dumb. Here's a really dumb puzzle. This is stupid and I'm stupid. Okay, so we have pupilless eye. The pupilless eye was... <clears throat> orange and orange corresponds to a pool ball that has the number five the second eye is the one that has a human pupil that one was green and that corresponds to the pool ball that's the left number six and then the cat's eye was red that corresponds to the pool ball that's the number three Why did they let you enter the numbers and have no effect? That was incredibly stupid. <laughs> right? That was really dumb. <clears throat> I should go use the book first. That way the book will be out of my inventory. Because I think, I think I need to pick up a lot of shit in this room. <clears throat> Now Real Take Sports to the Super Chase is Watson is LTG. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Real Take Sports. I really have no clue how you're comparing people to LTG. I don't care. Thanks for the Super Chat, though. Alright. I think this is where we use the book. Right here. Yeah, see? <coughs> yep. <coughs> A water puzzle. It seems like we don't have... Uh, the battery to do it yet and it seems like we're gonna get it at some point i just don't remember when um but great progress tonight right we didn't die thankfully no deaths tonight correct or did we die wait a minute
That puzzle is not in the original. It's new for this, and it's stupid as fuck. Now I gotta do the whole thing over. I did die. Or didn't I? Did I die tonight? We did, didn't we? Did we die once? I think we died once. But I don't remember how we died. Oh, we drowned in the stupid water pressure room. Okay, we died once to a crappy puzzle that wasn't designed very well. Thank you, Mishael, for a $2 tip. He says, great gameplay. Thank you, Mishael. I real take sports to the Super Chest. I like to get one piece. All right, I'm not reading the rest of that. Anyway. <laughs> stupid. Okay, so next time around, we are poised to go back to the mansion, start opening up all the doors. Unfortunately, if I remember correctly, two bad things happen when we go back to the mansion. Bad thing number one, all the regular zombies turned into Crimson Heads. Bad thing number two, I'm almost positive, this is the debut of the Hunters. And the Hunters are bad news. So guys, thank you so much. Great stream tonight. Had a great time with you, chill, chilled with you all. Great engagement, great attendance, great support, great everything. Thanks for a great stream. In a couple nights, we resume with more Resident Evil 1 remake, and I hope to see you then. Thank you all. See you next time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Resident Evil 1 Remake. And yet again, we have another setup change from the last time you guys watched. Oh my god, look how different things look. Again, uh, MKASP started a super chat here. says, do you plan on playing other old school Resident Evils? Eventually, yes. I feel like at this point, we're in a situation where it's been so long since I actually played many of these old school Resident Evils. It kind of makes sense that we should do that. Are we going to do it anytime soon? Probably not. We actually have new releases right around the corner. Uh, I'm starting at least two new games this week, if not more. So probably this will be it for a little bit, and then maybe I'll in the future. Okay, but for now, no, I'm just going to stick with uh, with this one. Okay, I have a twirl of hair on my forehead that looks cute. Hold on a second. I misclicked. Oh, oh my hair is so lustrous. Anyway, I, I showered right before the stream, which is why my hair is kind of doing this. There you go. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. Oh, I got a $10 tip. I'm not a clown, and I'm not an actor. Yes, that was a panic run. I didn't intend to actually end up in this hallway, but I had to get the fuck out of there. Because <laughs> look. That's how I get to the save room, and that's also, there's a new room right there I need to open with the key. So, yeah. I need to get past the hunter. swipe put me in caution now hunters don't turn into red hunters once the hunters are dead they don't come back right I don't have to burn the hunter with the stupid flask I'm okay I hope so I don't have yeah I don't have the key for this door this is the Spencer family 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 the Spencer family emblem. I don't have the Spencer family emblem. <clears throat> so I can't do anything with this right now. Um, I can go back to the typewriter box. So I should go to the typewriter box and drop off uh, this crest that I don't need. Uh, and then if I go upstairs, there's a, there's a door that I'd be able to open with this key. You see that on the second floor? On the first floor, the door is from the main hallway. So I don't have to really go crazy worrying too much about that right now. I would say maybe the second floor door is the way to go. Let's see what's through this door. Is there new enemies? Because I want to see if I can unload this metal. Jesus fucking Christ! 
What the fucking shit? You couldn't even see it. You couldn't even see it. Wow. You couldn't even see it coming. Wow. Instant death. Well, the good news is we didn't lose much gameplay there. We know we don't have to go to that other uh, uh, hut now. We can just go straight to the to the mansion and deal with these hunters. So, no big deal. There actually was not a lot of lost gameplay there at all. But, yeah, you could hear it, but there was no way to tell how close it was to you. I had absolutely no clue that hunter was right there in my face. I, I just, you know, I wish I had known. Well, it is what it is. Um, so, actually, we're good, right? We're actually good. I don't need any other items. We're just going to go straight from here back to the mansion. Yes, I know that if you're not at green health, the hunter can instantly kill you. I'm well aware of that. Uh, I just didn't know the hunter was close enough to me to do it. I thought that it was like off screen, off camera. I had no clue where it was and it didn't sound. It's not like it was around the corner. It didn't sound like it was in my face. But, you know, this is an older game, so that I'm sure the audio wasn't, you know, 3D audio or anything, so it ain't hard to tell. So, someone to the dollar eleven said, Sorry if I missed this. Did you ever come to a conclusion about a donation for a light change? I would love to do it. We haven't really talked that much about it. Um, we talked about it maybe two streams. It was brought up. What, what uh, this person is talking about, by the way, thank you, dollar eleven tip is if someone donates, and let's say someone donates, I don't know, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, we haven't figured it out yet, could they just pick what light I'm gonna have? Green, blue, orange, zero, violet, yellow, blue, yellow, light, blue, sky, blue, four, purple, and blue, nine, blue, 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 blue,
People are just being dumb. People are talking about terms of service violations. There's no terms of service violation going on. Right? And then you got people insulting me and my wife, so we ban this idiot. Right? And then Quasi Soto does a super chat to say that I monetize everything. Isn't that enough? Um, I didn't come up with the idea about monetizing the light. I, it's not my idea. You, you buffoon. I didn't make it up. I didn't come up with it. I didn't even say anything about it. People have two days in a row asked me about it. So, how about this? Shut up. You're stupid. Okay. We received 100 likes. And with that 100 likes, it is time to do a celebratory bubble blow. So, let's do that. All right. Look at that. Look how those bubbles look. Now, beautiful HD... Well-lit bubbles. How do you like them apples? Very nice. Or how do you like them bubbles? Oh, no. <laughs> what have I done? There's a spider down here, isn't there? And here I am with only eight shotgun shells and no other ammo. Lord Prince Albert did a super chat. So I like I like super chats. I support YouTube and they keep things afloat and give you a platform. But thanks for the advice to tip I might in the future. Yes, it, 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 great. Support YouTube. Also become a member that supports YouTube. Also something I strongly recommend: become a YouTube Premium member. Then you don't have to watch any ads on anyone's channel, but you still support that person. You see. But if you're gonna make specific choices on how to support a person, and there's one way that you get a reward, and you want the reward. That's probably how you should support them, rather than asking them to then do different rewards for something else that doesn't have that reward. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like this is rocket science. And I appreciate your support and your super chats. I really do. But this is not like some crazy thing to figure out. It's pretty... It's pretty straightforward. Okay. That's a big spider. I guess we got to shoot it. Uh, I got another $2 tip from Vishayel. Says, what are your thoughts on the Billy Madison film? I think it's funny. Just like Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison, you know, those those initial movies Adam Sandler did are his best, you know. Not to say that there aren't other ones, too. Like, Big Daddy is pretty funny. Um, and uh, what's the other one, too? There's, like, four Adam Sandler movies I like. Well, a lot of the ones after that were terrible. But I like Billy Madison. And then I got a dollar tip. You blew it! I got a dollar tip. I got banned on Super Chat the other day for asking a question I feel deserved an answer to, and quite frankly, it was rude. Can I please get an unban? Uh, yeah, just there's what you're doing right now is a complete waste of time. If you're looking for an unban, I have no ability to unban you during the live stream. The only way you can get an unban is to send me you, the address of your YouTube channel. There's actually an easier way to do this now, guys. If you're not aware, YouTube now has what's called uh, what are they tags? They're little. You know how on Twitter you have at and then whatever your tag is on Twitter. So now YouTube has the same thing. So instead of, like, I, I ask you guys, oh, I need the web address of your your channel to unban you. Actually, I don't anymore. What I need is your at tag. If you send me youtube.com at so-and-so, then I'll know your channel and I can go right to it and unban you. But you got to email it to me. I don't have any ability to do it live on the stream. If you email it to me, once I get a chance behind the scenes, I will unban you, okay? So thank you for the tip. Sorry I can't do it live. It's not like Twitch where you can just do it on the spot, okay? So if I go through this, it's probably just as bad. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm really not seeing an easy way out here, right? And I have no way to save. I have no ink ribbons. I don't know where they are in the mansion. So this is actually a good opportunity to split tonight's stream. But this really sucks. I can't save my game. The game's not giving me any ink ribbons at all. So, okay. <clears throat> oh, this is completely wrong. Okay, here's the deal. This person keeps tipping me. And they're being incredibly intrusive in the life of myself and my wife. And they're saying things that aren't even factually true. And now they're upset because I banned them for saying shit like that. Like, let's say, let me give you guys an example. What if someone walked up to you and said something to you that they say is factually true about you and your wife that's not true? How would you react? Like, what are you talking about? How is this your business? What are you, like, what, you know? But this person just keeps, so I banned them because they were distracting the, ch the chat, had nothing to do with my stream. They're talking about my wife and our personal life. That's wrong, by the way. It's factually wrong. So I banned them. Now they're tipping me. Oh, you shouldn't have banned me the other day. All right, how about this? 
Go ahead and keep tipping me. Be stupid. I don't know what else to say. Stop derailing my streams. From now on, I'm not reading anything you send me. Okay. I should grab the gems. Oh, my God. This is tense. And you know what's even worse? I have to piss. <laughs> That's even worse. Oh, by the way, I think Real, Real Take Sports did a super chase. Is why people want to know about your wife, Odd? Because they're weirdos. I, as you know, my wife, Kat, never appears on stream. Every once in a while, I casually mention her. All right? She wants nothing to do with my, my content. She doesn't want to be harassed online. She just wants to be left alone. But these people on the, on the internet are just nut jobs, and they try to figure out shit that has nothing to do with them. And, you know, it's our personal life, not theirs, but they're fucked up. You know, they're messed up people. So, yeah, they shouldn't ever be asking questions about my wife at all. Like, her name should never go into anyone's mouth unless it's something casual like, oh, what you making for dinner or something, right? But that's what these people are. They're just weirdos. All right, ready? I only have six shotgun shells. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> okay. Woo! Good thing I was prepared. Now we can take that fucker out, right? So, how could things go wrong for Calamity Drake here in the finale? What do you guys think? What could possibly go wrong? I have to do it so I don't die. I died anyway! I died with full health. You've got to be fucking kidding me. I died with full health and no way to avoid it. A whole hour and a half wasted and I have to do it all over again. This is what old school gaming is about, brother. That wasn't 40 minutes. That was over an hour. That was about an hour and 20 minutes of gameplay. And the problem is, I don't know where any items are. Without knowing where ink ribbons are, I literally can't do anything about this. I'll just keep wasting my time. And hence, the reason why these harder playthroughs of Resident Evil are bullshit. It's not... Basically, what you need to do is you need to know ahead of time where everything is. Because if you're trying to play blind like me, it's not fun. By the way, I didn't even want to load this. I loaded the wrong one. Loaded the wrong game. Yeah, this sucks. This seriously sucks ass. Why I pick hard? Because everyone demanded it. When I played this game eight years ago, I played regular and everyone got pissy with me that I played regular. So I said I would play hard. But this is exactly the reason why I don't like doing that with games like this. This The game is assuming you know where everything is because you've already looked it up or played it already. I don't. I, I'm, I'm doing it. I don't know where the fuck the ink ribbons are. So I just wasted an hour and 20 minutes. And now we got to do it all over again. And I still don't know where to go to get ink ribbon. Like if I knew, I would go there first. You know what I'm saying? But I don't even know where to go to get the ink ribbons at this point. This sucks ass. We gotta do everything over. It's a whole waste of an hour, man. I don't know what to do. Anyone have any recommendations? Obviously, I'm not gonna do what I did before because none of that led to anything that I needed. I didn't get any ink ribbons or anything. Without ink ribbons, I don't even know how I could continue with the game, honestly. I could play all night and not save, and what's the point, right? I might as well just quit. I didn't get bit for once, so that's good. After getting bit twice, I didn't get bit by the snake. <clears throat> yeah, this sucks ass. I don't even. I, I, I really hate losing an hour. And now I still don't know where to go or what to do in order to make progress. This really sucks. Helmet door in the main hall should be my priority. Okay. 
dagger. I forgot I have to pee. I have to pee really bad, too, so I'm gonna have to do it in a second. Okay, guys, brief, quick break. I'll be right back. I gotta pee. Okay, told you that'd be fast. Um... All right, I just want to make sure, yes, Real Take Sports was the last Super Chatter. We haven't had any tips in a while. Okay, we got nothing to shout out. Thank you guys for chilling and supporting the stream in any way. Uh, roughly a half an hour left on the stream because I did start late tonight because I had that technical difficulty, so I'll be playing until around 9.30 tonight. Half an hour left, everybody. <clears throat> All right. Need for Speed tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see how Need for Speed is. I got to download it after this stream. Of course, here we are again going late, and uh, then I got to do more work. Great. Rollo, have a good night. Guys, last chance. We've only got about maybe 15, 20 minutes left on the stream. It would be great if you could support the stream in any way. Uh, we kind of froze with contributions out of nowhere when we were so close to hitting our Tier 1 tips goal. So it would be great maybe we could hit that tonight. Uh, thank you in advance to anyone who contributes in any way. I appreciate that. Oh, God. Playing video games is so tough. Streaming every day of my life. It's so tough. It's hard on my body. It's hard on me mentally. These video games are getting tougher and tougher, too. Oh, they're so draining. My eye, I got so much eye fatigue. Oh, God. Oh. What the fuck? What is What the fuck? It's dead on! Are you shitting me? What, because it's rotated? It has to be right side up? It has to be right side up. No shit, stupid. That's what we're gonna roll with. We're almost done with the helmet key. It's just that we we have to redo the stuff we had didn't unlock yet. But we're almost done with it. We've almost opened every door with it. So I guess it's time to save and call it quits for the night, guys. And remember, our next stream of Resident Evil Remake is actually going to be a main daytime stream on Tuesday. So if you like the Resident Evil Remake playthrough, come by Tuesday during the daytime, 12:45 p.m. Pacific time, and that's when we're gonna continue on with the run. Okay. Okay, so to recap what we're going to be doing next time, okay? All right, so thank you all. Great stream tonight. Hope you enjoyed it. By the way, I hope you enjoyed the new lighting, right? First time that I've actually had good lighting here for the Resident Evil playthrough. So I hope you guys comment on the videos. Let me know what you think of the new lighting scheme here. Uh, outside of that, thanks to everyone who chilled. Thanks to anyone who supported in any way. You know, lots of engagement tonight, lots of super chats, and, uh, you know, tips. Thank you all. Until next time, when it looks like we will finish this on a major three hour stream coming up, because I don't think we're going to need more than three hours to beat it. I'm pretty sure. Okay, everyone, welcome back to Resident Evil 1 Remake, and it looks like this will be 
our final stream of the game since it looks like we are definitely coming to the end. Let's let's recap where we are in the game and what we're doing. <clears throat> First of all, let's put these goddamn ink ribbons away since they're so valuable at this point. <clears throat> As well. Now I'm fine. Another green herb, I don't need it. Oh! The snake has returned. Interesting. I didn't know that this was going to happen. Do I have to kill it? Or can I just run? I don't remember. Hmm. someone else play it I when I first played Resident Evil 1 I was scared I never played a horror game before so for me I was like like scared shitless I was I was you know many times you know creeped out especially the dog jump scare that still got me got me you know I still think about it to this day how scared I was when the dogs burst through the window like that <clears throat> um and uh but yeah like a lot of people have said over the years the reason they enjoy watching me play these survival horror games because they personally would not play them themselves but they like watching me play it gives them an avenue to watch this kind of content so there you go you are like sissy girl <laughs> sissy girl <laughs> so we want to go back this way no we don't no we don't nope we'll go this way This one? Yes, this is the door. I don't know if there's any enemies in here, though. Good thing I got the shotgun. Okay, we're gonna go to the save room. We're gonna go back up, too. We're gonna go back up to those other doors and loot, too, but I wanna unload my inventory. Oh, shit! The fuck? Dude's just fucking chilling. The hell is going on here? <laughs> What the fuck? Surprise, oh, motherfucker. Shit. Oh, no. Hey, this fucker. Get up. What are you talking about? There's no puzzle on the second floor east. This is all clear. I cleared all these rooms. Haseo X says, do you think we should have another Resident Evil game but have Rose as the main character or have one where the Wesker's son is involved? I think we need to basically have some connection to the classic games. These last two, Resident Evil 7 and 8, were such a weak connection to the classic Resident Evils. <clears throat> so I would absolutely like to see some kind of a connection back at this point to more classic Resident Evil stuff. I actually feel like, not to say I don't like the games, but it's a shame we have six other games that have now been forgotten. You know what I mean? <clears throat> That's what we call a head popper. I don't have to bother with that shit, right? <clears throat> okay. Huh? Is that the real One Minute Man in chat? There is no real One Minute Man uh, account for my knowledge. Nope. See, it's fake. He's going to ban him. There we go. One Minute Man is always anonymously supported behind the scenes and has never made an account or anything on purpose, I feel. They don't want to cause drama. This is neither a redemption run or a casual stream. This is a harder difficulty run with Jill. My original playthrough, I did the easier difficulty run with Chris. Although I didn't know it was an easier. I thought it was normal, but apparently it was easier. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay. Oh my god. Can you guys relax? Stop with nonsense in the chat, thanks. Okay. Cool. 
room with the red. That's right. Shall we save this time? I think we have enough ink ribbons we can actually save if we want. Do you remember Resident Evil 3 Nemesis? Yes, I hated it. The original, I absolutely hated it. I thought the game was not... It was inferior to the other res original Resident Evils. The gameplay wasn't as fun. It didn't have enough ink ribbons. It had cheap as a desk where you could shoot a barrel and blow up the world. It didn't make any sense. And then come to find out, it wasn't supposed to be Resident Evil 3, which is why it feels so different. It was supposed to be a, a spin-off game. Uh, while there was supposed to be... like I think they were saying that Code Veronica or Zero actually was supposed to be like 3. And then they uh, had to change it all last minute because they got delayed. Okay, do you think we're done with this stupid heck? I have no clue where this goes either. <laughs> I have no idea. Let's find out. I don't know where we're going. Jill. Barry? Thank God you're safe. You too, Jill. The noise I heard brought me down here, but I didn't expect to find a place like this. I know, under a mansion, something like this. Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? Good afternoon, There's Go Team Venture. There's only one way to find out. Now, if this is the lab, then what in the hell are we supposed to do in the mansion with the with the, the metal puzzle? I swear that metal puzzle leads you down to the lab. So is this not the lab? Where are we? Oh, no. What the hell is that sound? It's what's-her-name, the girl from earlier with her family Could grafted to her person. body. Oh, jeez. Jill. Go check it out. Jill, go check it out. What about you, asshole? For one day. What about I'll stay why here you? And secure our escape route in case something. Oh happens. yeah, you secure okay. the escape route and make Jill go check it out. You asshole. What a what a dick. So I guess we have to fight her. I guess she's a boss in this one. I guess so. I'll secure the escape route. He said. Which means I will stand here and do nothing while you go fight her. What a jerk. Oh, look. They actually give you an item box here. Holy shit, really? Do I, do I want to? I don't know. Do I want to save here? I could. Here, you know what? I will, and here's why I will. But it's no big deal because I could easily just reload the last save. Right? Yeah. I could easily just reload the last save if we run out of ink ribbons. So let's do... Yeah, this will be 23. People are saying there were 30 ink ribbons in the game. Um, so this will be 23. Which means there's still 7... I, or I still one I haven't used. It'll be 24. Apparently there's 2 more ink ribbon packs in the game. Who lit all these candles? Alright. This has to be said about survival horror games. Why are there always a million candles, and how the hell do they stay infinitely lit? How are these candles that don't melt? You know what it is? They're all those, um... They're all Luminara fake candles. They run on electricity. They're all hooked into the electricity system. And they're not real wicks. They're simulated wicks that go like this. Right? I have those. I have those in my living room, but they run on batteries. Well, these aren't on batteries. These are hooked into the power system. Of the mansion. And that's how they're on forever. Uh-oh. Jill. You're alive. Yeah, shithead. No thanks to you. I was worried. Because I thought you were... <laughs> yeah. What an asshole. Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. Hello. Eyeball on her back. You. That's probably her weak point. Ah! Those have been there for fifty years. How could you? Ah! She's mutating. You. No time to talk. Jill, hand me my gun. I have to make a choice here. I don't know if I trust him. If I keep the gun fucked out, I'll kill her myself. He could die, right? Everyone's saying no, don't do it, don't give it to him. Yeah, fuck him, right? Fuck him, he's an asshole. 
We tried to kill you earlier. Now some people are saying yes. God, it's a t it's everyone's everyone's split. The whole chat is split. It determines a good or bad ending. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. All right, I'll give him the gun back. Thanks, Jill. Trust him. I just waste all of that? I totally wasted all my ammo, didn't I? I just wasted eight grenade rounds that I didn't need to use. Holy shit, she jumped like a fucking superhuman. got this place covered hurry on ahead he won't even let you back wow boy did i just waste a lot of goddamn ammo huh that seriously sucked uh man here we go i'm hyped for the last one on hbo i don't have hbo so no i can't watch it so i'm not hyped at all <laughs> People versus it was the camp humor intended in these games? I think so. I think so. I think it was meant that they knew that they were doing a style of humor, you know, to try to lighten the mood a little bit of how serious the game is, people being eaten and shit. I'm pretty sure. All right, so this is it, the finale. We're heading to the lab. I don't know if we'll beat it today. I remember the lab being very short, but maybe I'm remembering the original game because some people were saying they don't think I'm beating it today, in which case we'll need another, another like, quicker night stream at some point. Uh, which I'm okay with, by the way, but I guess we'll see. All right, cool. We're going to the lab under the under the mansion, and that's the end of the game. I don't remember what we're doing out here or what we're, what we're going for, so. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is probably the best opportunity for us to take a real break, and the only reason I say that is because I don't know how much exactly is left. I would much rather just finish it all in one go than play for another hour and then go on break and finish it in 10 minutes or whatever. I don't know. Let's take a break now. It'll only be about a 15-minute break. I'm going to use the restroom and relax a little bit. When we come back, we will finish up Resident Evil 1 Remake. Thank you, everyone, chilling. Great, great attendance. Great engagement today. If you guys could support the stream a little more, that would certainly be great. Uh, is on a little bit on the slower side today, although you know I'm not going to sit here and complain. I'm having fun. I hope you guys are, too. I will see you all after the break. Sound good? All right. Thanks. All right, everyone, so into the lab, right? Let's see what lies inside the lab. Here we go. Now they're gonna give me kerosene? Seriously, fuck that. I don't care about kerosene. X-ray somehow? Thank you, Sonic SLM, for Super Chat. He says, nice stream from Germany. Thank you, Sonic. I appreciate that. Uh, first contribution in quite some time on the stream, so thank you, Sonic. Appreciate it, appreciate it. All right. Eh. Wait.
Wait a minute. Okay. So they're in alphabetical order. Now we have to use the the organs. So what's glowing red in this first one? That's the bottom of the intestine, which is called the colon. So it starts with a C. Then it's the esophagus, E. Then what's this one? Stomach, so C-E-S. And then what's that? Lungs, C-E-S-L. That's not a word. C-E-S-L is not a word. Hmm. What if we were doing it... It's the liver, not the stomach? C-E-L-L? -L? Oh, that's the liver? You're right. It's C-E-L... Cell. Cell. C-E-L-L. -L. Okay. So we have our answer now. Cell. Thank you for telling me that. I'm stupid. I thought the stomach was the liver. Excuse me. I thought the liver was the stomach. Third and final modus. I don't have to waste a piece of mangum ammo on this guy. Annoying fuck face. At least I didn't, uh, didn't take any health. Another one. Point blank magnum. You, melty. Melty Chimera. <sighs> Alright, I guess we'll figure this out next time. I guess what we'll have to do is retrace our steps, check out all the different areas, and try to find the third and final mode. That'll open the other door. We can also uh, uh, turn to the elevator. I know we had a final boss fight coming. Here's what I'm trying to remember. I know if you get the fuel, you go back down there, you enable it, that turns on the elevator, right? And that's how you're supposed to leave. Isn't that the end of the game? So then, what do you do here? See the stairwell? What is this? Once we get all the modis, what does the stairwell go? I don't remember that at all. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's save up. And that'll be it for today. I guess we can put the shotgun away because I have no shotgun ammo. I used it all, right? We do have incendiary rounds for the uh, grenade launcher, so maybe I'll take that with me. Oh, I have regular shells for the grenade launcher. Oh, really? Okay. We'll probably do this next time. But let's save up again since we actually have the extra ink ribbon. Alright, guys. Great progress today. Sorry I didn't beat it. I thought we were going to, but we ran out of time. Definitely next time that I play, we'll beat it. Um, And like I said, well, I'll probably do a night stream where that way we have more than enough time to wrap it up. And if we even need extra time to talk about the next game or whatever, just chill. We could do that on, over the weekend. But thanks. Great stream. Great progress. Thanks to those who uh, you know, engaged, participated in any way, supported. Thank you so much. And next time around, it's the conclusion of Resident Evil 1 Remake Jill Side Run. All right, guys. Thanks. All right, everyone. Well, welcome back to Resident Evil 1 Remake, the finale. Uh, last time around, I actually did an extra long stream, three hours of this game, anticipating that we were going to beat it. Uh, we did not beat it. I thought for sure we were going to defeat it, and we did not. Um, for various reasons. 
the ending of the game is extended in this version of the game, which I did not remember. And basically, as I arrived at the lab, I'm looking around like, wait a minute, there's like a lot more rooms and things than I remember. I was like, this is going to take longer. So we didn't finish, but it's all right. Tonight, we have a whole stream tonight to finish it. Um, I don't foresee us taking longer than maybe another hour or so. We'll see. There's a few left things left to do for, for me to wrap up the game tonight, which we're going to do. Uh, FYI, we already have a good amount of support tonight. In fact, someone did a $100 tip, in which case I took a shot of gin. So if I start you know, slobbering from the mouth, if I sound sloppy drunk, and I start flopping around, it's because I drank. Okay, that's not going to happen. I have one shot. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way that's going to happen for me having one shot of gin tonight. All right, but... uh. You were promised what? Gin? I don't, I don't even have gin. I don't even have gin at all. I, I haven't had gin in my house. In like, I'm not even kidding you now. No exaggeration. I have not had gin in this house in like two years. I don't drink gin. DC, he says, this calls for a gin haiku. A bottled substance. The cold beverage cools the soul. Decadent flavors. There you go. It's actually very uh, aromatic. Full, full of herbaceous, herbaceous scents, this particular gin. Uh, I also received another tip here, a dollar twenty-five tip from Sloppy Noppy. You go out and ask for an interview, and you waste people's time that want to interview you, and now you're not going to do it. Wow, uh, I never even said that. And by the way, we're not going to talk about that on the stream tonight. That's not the point. I've talked about it both on last night's Q and A as well as this morning's uh, Level One podcast. If you'd like the full answer about an interview or whatever, watch those. We're not going to talk about that at length tonight. We already did so. But that's not even what I said. But uh, thanks for putting words in my mouth. And thank you for the tip. I appreciate that. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so. Now, that's fair. The camera rotated. So there's no way for me to actually keep running because it stopped. Now, could there be an item here? Oh, what the hell? There was a dagger there? And that's the hallway. Okay, it's not this hallway. There was a dagger sitting there all along. No, you don't keep holding forward to go forward. That's the original game. In this version, the, the actual control is the direction you push on your thumbstick, because this is the remake. So when the camera moves, the whole control reverses. So right now, I have to hold down to go up the stairs, but watch what happens when I get to the top. Now look what happens. Now I gotta turn, oh wait, I can't keep going. I have to go a different direction to go a different way. You see? Oh shit, now I gotta reset the room. I wasn't paying attention. Hold on, I gotta reset the room. <laughs> reset it the original tank controls okay you if you hold the direction and, and, a, and a shoulder whatever it is you know you'll keep running that direction and if you keep holding the button and moving you could actually even if the camera changes you can like curve around corners easily but in this version it rotates on you so it actually makes it a little more challenging in this version okay is there something in that dresser straight ahead Oh my god! Seriously? That was it. I never walked over there. That's the mode. Okay. That's the mode disc. We never walked over there. So I didn't even know that that was there. Okay, we can go back to the room in the basement and we can use this mode disc. Well, there you go. I didn't know. You noticed there was no blinking light. So because there was no blinking light, I didn't think there was a, an item over there. So I never bothered with it. How many more self defense knives do I have, by the way? Two more and two more tasers. That might be enough to not have to waste ammo on these assholes. Okay. Oh, I got a tip. Hold on. We got a tip. I got a shout out. I received a $5 tip. From Yennefer. Okay, Yennefer. Pretty unique name. Yennefer did a $5 tip and says, I should play Resident Evil Zero next. So after we finish this tonight, live on stream, we are going to have a little bit of a debate. Where we're going to determine, is it going to be Resident Evil Zero or... Uh, what's the name of the game? <laughs> I keep forgetting the name of it. Uh, either Resident Evil Zero or Signalis. That's the, the game. Those are the two survival horror games that seem to be everyone seems to want me to play. So we have to make that determination tonight. After we beat Resident Evil 1 Remake, okay? Okay. 
All right. So I think this is the way to go for the best ending. I think it's through here. So which room is it? It's not the central room. It's definitely not that. What room is it? It had to be one of the other rooms then. It had to be one of the rooms that I passed. It has to be. One of them has the projector and one of them must have the gas or the, the fuel. Well, I got another tip. Thank you, whoever that is. We'll check it in a second. Thanks, guys. We've got good viewership tonight. 70, uh, 67 likes and climbing. Thank you for that. And, uh, you know, thanks for the, of course, thank you so much to the Dutch Brothers for the tip and everyone else who is supporting in any way. Is this, this isn't it either. Oh, my God. I went to every wrong room. I'm extending the length of the playthrough dramatically by being a dunce. It's this one. This room, right? See, I was holding down, and then I had to release down and press down again, and she turned, even though I technically just pressed the same direction twice. See, now I had to release, and I press up, and now she walks straight. It's weird in this game with the way that the, the camera angles just auto-turn like that. Jade says, I understand videos. I don't know what you mean by that, Jade. Mark did not like Resident Evil uh, 5 and 6, he says. Okay, so let's... uh. He says we're all different. That's right. We agree to disagree, right? We're respect respectful of each other's opinions. If you didn't like them, I mean, you're absolutely incorrect, but I still respect your being incorrect. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, you have the right to not like them. That's okay. Okay. By the way, Rechi, you are the latest super chatter. Thank you, Rechi. Execute clown mode. There we go. So we're saved. Now, I saved the game, correct? Let's run. Ready? We're gonna run. Oh, we're running. We're running with the fuel. Oh! <laughs> that was funny as hell. Oh! Deactivate the clown mode. Jade. I'm sorry, Jade. I just, I'm not, I'm not getting it tonight. And that's probably on me. Anyway, <laughs> I just blew up. Mishael, thank you for a dollar super chat. <laughs> this is so stupid. She just explodes. Oh, yes, this is the final remake of Resident Evil 1. Uh, if that's, this is the final remake. This is the final stream of Resident Evil 1 remake. Excuse me. I said, oh. Mishael now did a super chat. It's actually a super sticker of a emote that says behind the scenes. Interesting. What's going on behind the scenes tonight? The big broski. Here he is. He's got a little bit of a rash on his side. He might need some ointment for that. And it looks like he has a fingernail problem. He might need like a, a manicure or two, but... The ultimate organism. You want a piece of me? He's like, nah, I'll take a piece of this instead. What? Premature. <laughs> Premature. No, Barry. Premature what? You viral cultured freak. Oh, watch your words. You might get canceled. <laughs> oh, shit. Thumbs down, motherfucker. <laughs> I understood what. You run in circles. Turn his dick. I shoot him right in his dick. I'm at dick level. <laughs> Yo, I'm shooting him right in his balls. He has none. He has no balls, but I mean, that's pretty fucked up that I'm hitting him right in his nuts. Oh, look, Phil's. Phil's making that joke about poop and dick humor. Wesker. He's gone. Of course he's gone. First, let's just get out of here. <laughs> First you remove my cock and balls, then you shoot me in the place <laughs> repeatedly to remind me of my embarrassing deformity. How could you? 
So I don't think there's any items in here, right? How do you get out? I think we gotta save Chris. We gotta get him out of the cell. And then I think we just gotta go right up this main stairwell the way we came. But then something else happens if I remember correctly. I'm not, I'm not, I don't remember 100%. So MKASP 316 did a $2 super chat. Just hold on to your doogie. It's about to get spooky. Put it down to your butts because it's about to get nuts. Oh shit. Don't mean to be crass, but hold on to your ass. Oh, Real Take Sports did another super chat. George Costanza or Kramer? I think George Costanza overall is a funnier character. Kramer is just like over the top slaps. A new light in this hallway, look. Uh. So no more all employees. Now it's all personnel must evacuate. Blah, 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 blah. All personnel must evacuate. Blah, 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 blah. All personnel must evacuate immediately. All personnel must evacuate immediately. The lock is released. Did I... Did I want... What? It seriously... It spun me right round, baby, right round. I walked in a whole circle like an idiot. <laughs> Shit. Well, that was embarrassing. Real Take Sports did a super... What? Wait, what? Real Take Sports did a super chase. Is married with children or real married with children? Well, I'm never going to have children, so I can't, I can't really answer that. So wait, where the fuck am I going? What? This way. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop this. There you go. You're flying to the sunset, just like at the end of Jurassic Park. No, 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 no. La 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 <laughs> Welcome to Biohazard Park. Noisy idiot. That's all he's a noisy idiot. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Nice. Fun. Fun. Now play the prototype version. Real survival unlocked. Item box is no longer connected. Meaning the items can only be taken from the box where they're stored. Weapon aiming is manual. No auto aim. Experience these prototype only features unavailable in the original Resident Evil gameplay. No thanks. And then you got the closet key. A new costume has been unlocked. You can change in the dressing. I wonder what it is. It's probably something stupid. Knowing the Japanese is probably something offensive. Like a half naked, you know, Jill outfit or something. A maid outfit or something dumb. Dressed like Hatsune Miku or something like that. Of course, there was no Hatsune Miku when this came out, but you know what I'm saying. Oh. I'm playing a woodwind instrument. I'm Japanese. Um, all right. <clears throat> so, everyone, thank you for watching my first ever Jill side run of Resident Evil 1 Remake on the Climb a Mountain difficulty. Uh, I definitely hope that. You enjoyed the playthrough. Uh, I did. It was fun to play on the intended difficulty because I didn't play it on that the first time around, what, eight, nine years ago? I played it on the easy and not realizing it was easy. Um, I still, to this day, think they should just name it what it is. It should say easy, normal, hard, not piss easy, easy, normal, but then name them something to disguise the fact that that's the case, right? That's kind of silly. Um, but I, I loved it. I hope you did too. And uh, thanks for joining me over the course of the playthrough. It was funny how the lighting completely changed during the course of this playthrough for me upgrading my setup while I was playing the game. <clears throat> and uh, thank you very much, everyone, for your support and uh, your love of survival horror like me. I love it too, man. This is, again, Resident Evil 1 was the original survival horror game that I ever played, the original on PS1. And since then, I've been a fan. You know, I didn't play them for the longest time, but man, these are some of my favorite playthroughs to do for you guys in the last 15 years I've been a YouTuber. So I hope that you enjoyed the playthrough, guys. All right? All right, everyone. Thanks so very much. And uh, what will be the next survival horror game? Well, I'm about to find out. Because I'm about to talk about it with my audience. We're going to pick the next one that I'm actually playing, you know, very soon. So thanks for watching. See you soon. <laughs>
talk about Derek, 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 Derek. Shut the fuck up, dude. Derek's not here. <laughs> see you later, Derek. <clears throat> Alright, Derek, see you later, man. <clears throat> My god. See you later, Derek. Yes, we'll see you for Fall Guys tonight. Alright, Derek. See you later, man. Enjoy Thunderdome if you do get into it. Surprise, Cuckfag! Devour! Oh.